Wow, Ethan, great move. Two. My people, hello, it is Monday, and we didn't leave you hanging. We never would. That's why we're back. Even though it's a rainy day out here in Los Angeles. Yeah. It's a rainy day out here in Los Angeles. You can always count on the H3 podcast, unless it's Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Yeah, we don't work that day. We don't work that day. We don't work that day. That day's ours. That's our day. Our, well, it's the, well it's can we say day. that? Um, it's the yeah. country's day. <laughs> it's not necessarily ours. It's not necessarily <laughs> our day. I don't know about the to- the exact verbiage of that. Yeah. But I, I honor it. Yes, yes. I love yes. to honor that Absolutely. day. Yeah. You do love to honor that day. <laughs> um, got a fantastic show here, which is totally unexpected, uh, coming off our last week. Um, so we are going to, it's raining outside, as I mentioned, so we are going to continue with our Stanley Cup experiments versus my uh, hydro flask, which is the one that I love and use. We are going to fill these up with ice all the way, and we're going to put it in the dishwasher. Are we able to get the thermometer in there, Dan? No, it doesn't work. Damn, what the hell's the point of that thing? (laughs) Well, you don't normally put it in a metal sealed cage. Yeah, it's meant for for meat. How thick is this metal? We're not talking about a military grade washing machine. Well, we're talking about a $40 Bluetooth little dinky ass antenna. It can't get through the fucking... It cannot. We tried it. It's also full of water, which also blocks RF, so... Yeah. So we'll have to take it out occasionally and... Well, (laughs) just shake. shake It gets hot as shit in there. I know that. How hot? Is it inside a washing machine? It's hot. I'm telling you guys, don't. It's 130 degrees. Oh, that's hot. Of, you know, steam and heat. That's hot. So this is gonna be good. It's not as hot as fire, but we're working our way up to that. Um, <laughs> we're, really, we're gonna stretch this out. The this, Stanley this Cup legs. Stanley oh, Cup. Yeah. We're really, we're really right on the pulse here with this Absolutely. one. Absolutely. We have to know. Uh, we got that. We've got so much more. Let's just get into it. You know what I mean? Let's just talk. Let's just start talking about it. Instead of talking about talking about it, let's just talk about it. I feel that. I like that. Talk to me, baby. (laughs) Talk to me, baby. What is this? I I forget how I came across this. It was on Reddit. Oh, it was on Reddit. Mm -hmm. What is going on here? Are these real websites or are these just... If you go to news for my name, there's like five... Articles about me slamming David Dobrik on five different websites. This has got to be some SEO scam, yeah, right? It's uh, <laughs> cross posting for SEO. So, what are these websites? They're just nothing. So, it's what half the internet is now. Well, my guess <laughs> is someone writes an article, <clears throat> and at the end of the article, they link their website, and then they tell all these other, this like massive net of website to post that article that links back to their website so let me okay i'm gonna see what's it one of them is the weekly journal i want to take a look is this a real website they're literally all just a video (laughs) these are ai websites bro what is this is this even recent okay yeah this is from six hours trump celebrates desantis dropping out let's see what's the quality here seems like a real article i'm not gonna read it is it okay? So here you go, H3 Podcast, Ethan Klein making a splash in the news, everybody. <laughs> wow. The, the people cannot stop chatting. <clears throat> the people of Central Virginia just cannot stop talking about Ethan Klein. WSMZ. Yeah, so, so thank you for honoring me, guys. Thank you. You slammed him, too. Actually, shit, let's read the article. Yeah. Can you, can you send me a link? I just have the image. Yeah. I if, want to... If, <laughs> If you search Ethan Klein on Google, oh, I'm frozen. Oh, uh, be, be. oh for real, I'll do that. Ethan yeah. Klein. Yeah, it's then. <laughs> oh, no, select, AB. I know. AB, Still you're melting. Dominating. No, dude. Check out the news feed. Look at me. I am the news. <laughs> wow. That's. You're so hot right now in the Blue Mountain. Damn. <clears throat> Hop in. Oh, here's one about my. F- what is Sports Ski? Is that a real website? Sports. Sports. I, that's a real one, yeah. I see that one all yeah. the time. They wrote arc about uh, my ending the show with Hassan. That's pretty, I mean, you know. That's big news. We're in the news. All right, let's read this. Shout out to <laughs> Atchison Globe. Oh, it's a video? Yeah. What the fuck? 
Yeah. Ethan Klein just slammed David Dobrik for just not taking care of his longtime vlogging partner, Jason Nash. <laughs> David Dobrik is one of many <clears throat> oh, creators what's with trending. a troubled and controversial history. What's trending? Since yeah, talked about me. It's what's trending. Wait, that means it's got to be on Twitter. They're big on Twitter. Yeah. Check to see how many. How do we do there? Go ahead. What's trending? Stop I'm trending. You know what? I'm trending. Me. That's right. One of his videos went horribly wrong and left a member of the vlog squad seriously injured. Dobrik has pulled back from making videos and can still live comfortably. Recently, a few Blog Squad members <coughs> vented about Dobrik not fully understanding the financial struggles they face what now that he's offline. Yeah, he calls me to play pool, and I'm like, uh, I gotta go live, and, <laughs> and I don't, and I don't expect him to understand that. Like, I, yeah. I know I've told him. There's also things that I like say to him, and I'm not sure if he hears me. <laughs> like, I'll say things like, "I'm losing my house," <laughs> and, and he'll be like. Oh, but just come play pool. <laughs> <laughs> Fellow YouTuber Hilarious. Ethan Klein Jesus reacted Christ. to this and slammed him, Dobrik Ethan. for not helping out Jason Nash, Tell him. considering the level of financial stress you gonna show he's what experiencing. I say, right? No, he's a horrible friend. Like, Jason, he should have set you up nice. After right. everything you guys have been through, I don't know what or how, but you should be rich. You should be rich, too. Right. Slam the fact them. that yeah. you're like, I got two hours on TikTok to pay my bills? That's nuts. Right. Yep. That's spitting. Wow. Super insightful. Somebody's, so there it is. That's the news. Somebody said, had Slam to say on it. Them with the, the world is a flame. All right. It didn't make its way to Twitter, apparently. <laughs> Big news. <laughs> but the Central Virginian. Yeah, well, that that's, th these are my people. Let's see. Um, Shout out, Central Virginia. <laughs> we were talking about Little Pump DMing OF models on Instagram, this whole weird underground scam mm -hmm. that we discovered through Austin McBroom. Um, we got, these are all new ones here? Yeah. So we got, we put a call out if anyone got DMs from them. And we did. There seems to be a lot of um, sex workers, is that correct? Or, or would you just say an OnlyFans model? What would you say? You could say sex worker, you could say OnlyFans. I think we have a lot of sex workers in our audience. Yeah, I mm -hmm. think so too. Seems like it. We respect them and we love them. 100%. Yeah, and I got tons of messages, not just about them specifically, <clears throat> but about predatory companies reaching out to them. And a lot of them were willing to, to speak on it. If we, It's a really interesting yeah. topic to mm -hmm. dive into. Yeah. By the way, my um, our nanny that watches uh, Bruce and Teddy may... She said, I got you a present for your birthday. I was like, whoa, okay. Because it's, I mean, that was half a year ago. Or seven, eight, or seven, it was eight June months this ago. Year. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yo, wow. that's awesome. Yeah, I love that. That's awesome. <laughs> it's powerful. <laughs> oh. Nice. I just wanted to give everybody a chance to really take it in. Oh. <sighs> I wanted to show you guys that, but I'm actually cold, so I'm going to put this on. <laughs> yeah, I was, it was really nice. I love this. Sh it's like, I love, I love it. But then you did point out that it was late, her birthday, and that's not really cool, right? Yeah, I spit on her, I spit in her <laughs> face before accepting it. It right. was in June this year. I that is threw, so sweet I and thoughtful, <laughs> but yeah, my birthday was, it was a while ago. I threw a, I was drinking coffee and I threw it in her face. <laughs> Good. Good. My neck looks tiny. It's like a big hole. <laughs> Maybe I'll do like that. My neck. It there you exist. go. Wow. Is that wow, bad? your neck looks massive now. Yeah. <laughs> Stunning. Whoa. Whoa. Kiss his old nasty pig. So uh, anyway, here's what we got from our fans. Apparently this came in from Lil Pump. Pump it up. Yo. I'm not interested in joining your playhouse. Nice. You're worthless, he said. Boy, yeah. you are dumb as shit. First you're of all. Worthless. How old is this man to be still worthless. mixing up your and your? Uh, he is. I mean, come on, bro. Worthless. He's 23. Oh, shit. He's pretty young. He should know. He'll figure it out in the next couple of years. I thought he was a bit older. We'll there. 23. Yeah, I love that, though. He's like, hey, do you want to join my scam? No, thanks. You're worthless. All right. 
<laughs> says the guy who's trying to solicit uh, successful people in the DMs by being a fucking fraud. Here's Lil Pump again. Hey, how are you? I see you do OF. I do as well. He does? I do OF as well. Do you have a team? My team does a really good job helping grow pages and making more money. I want to see if you are interested. Lil Pump, this is, this is your life. You used to make, you were in a video with Kanye. And now you're messaging OF girls trying to scam them. This is your He's life. He's arguably still doing better than Kanye, though, so. Now nah, what? Kanye's back. He apologized. <laughs> do, wait, do we ever talk about his apology? We I mentioned it think briefly. think we mentioned it? Yeah, we never we... translated it. Oh, I wanted to read it, and then I wanted to ask Ian, do we forgive Kanye? Well, why are you asking Ian? He's not Jewish. <clears throat> do you <laughs> forgive Kanye? I liked his statement. And the thing is, I like his music. <laughs> Bro, so. are you kidding me? No, I'm not. I'm in. I'm back. <laughs> We're back, baby. <laughs> no shot. I thought it was nice he apologized. But I thought it was nice. Not sincere, obviously. Now what? Supposedly <laughs> he's putting out like a, a forty minute apology, like a video apology. I think he is sincere. I think he came around. He was going through something and he came around. And now he can he can repair the damage that he's done, right, Ian? He deleted the apology too. <laughs> yeah, I didn't I understand. Why did he do that? Why do you delete the apology? <laughs> because he, he didn't mean he, it. He was trolling. He's trolling. No, he's not. Oh, wait, it's still on Twitter. No, it wasn't. That wasn't a troll. He just, he posted a photo wrong. of himself wearing a t-shirt with the neo-Nazi on it like two days ago. You yeah. I he don't get that. it. He doesn't get it. <laughs> but he's so gullible. Like, you, come on, you're not usually this gullible. I just like, I just, just a few songs that I like uh. to listen to of his. <laughs> Who is this wow. villain that walked in this morning? So it's just, oh, wow. you know, it's easier. <laughs> what the fuck? You know? uh, I could literally He's got hit. anti-Semitic shit and they can't drop me. That proved not to be true. Actually. Um, <clears throat> let's see, though. Maybe he'll become a great champion of the Jews. Maybe he'll he be... Might. He might. Maybe he he'll be the next Schindler. Mm-hmm. Mm. Could be. They, I believe they call him a righteous. Uh, there's a name for him, for for this type of person, a righteous Jews goyim for Jesus. Righteous goyim. Mm. He I should have went with Elon on his. Uh, righteous among the nations, we call them. How cool mm. is that? Righteous among the nations is an honorific used by the state of Israel to describe all non-Jews who, for purely altruistic reasons, risk their lives in order to save Jews during Nazi Germany. Righteous among the nations. Okay. That's oh. Kanye, all right. That sounds like Kanye for sure. I was gonna say he should have went with Elon on his apology tour. He's, uh, I think Elon's in. Did he go to Auschwitz today? Is that where he went? Yeah, he was in Israel, yeah. and now he and he went with like Ben Shapiro or something. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> what did he say again that pissed everyone off? Oh, it was what thing? It was, was nuts. a bunch. Oh yeah, it was. Re it was really bad. He was like. Uh, Someone wrote something like, oh, yeah, the Jews are, you know, in charge oh, of right. everything. Our, and he's like, so true. So true. <laughs> Truth has been stated. He had to say <laughs> it in a dorky ass way, of course. Only fact this is, here, my he friend. He said, this is actual truth. <laughs> Nerd. Not the best uh, response to blatant anti-Semitic conspiracy theories. Keep it to you. But those are popular these days, so it is the fad. Once again, I am not a part of any conspiracy. I've never been invited. I've never got a memo, you know? That's and, what you would say, though. Well, okay, you're like it, you're half Jew. Yeah. So who are you to fucking talk? You got the memo, bitch. No, I didn't get the memo. They were, I'm a, I'm a, Who's your, is your memo? mom or dad Jewish? Dad. And you don't honor your dad? Well, do you not love Judea, your dad? As you know, if your mom is not Jewish, you are not technically Jewish. So I don't I, observe I that. Pass, dude. I don't observe that. Anyway, I didn't get any invites. Well, we missed you. <laughs> <laughs> Zach, Zach, oh, Zach, you Zach. were there. Zach took cliff notes for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I feel like I'm a pretty high-ranking Jew at this point. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of high-ranking Jews way above me. A lot. However, if there is some kind of meeting, I feel like, am I at the level where I would get an invite or not yet? Yeah, you're top tier, bro. Like, I'm influential. I, you know what I mean? You're like, I could put out propaganda. Yeah, no, yeah, you would be in the cabal. You would be in the cabal. I could put out crazy propaganda. Yeah. So, like, yeah. But you guys know if I was invited, I would tell you. 
Right. I tell you guys everything. Yo, you guys will never, you guys will never believe the letter I got in the mail today. It had like a hand, a red hand stamped with blood instead of wax, and I opened it up. Well, we and it says you are chosen, and then it disintegrated while I was holding it. We missed you, and the kreplach was off the charts. The kreplach. Yeah. Nice. See in the tunnels, baby. We meet in the tunnels under New York City. <laughs> All right. What are we talking about? We're talking about Lil Pump. Lil Pump. Um, moving on. He's got more. This is so embarrassing for you, dude. Hey, how are you? I see you do OF as well. This is the same one he sent the other person. My team does a really good job helping. I wanted to see if you were interested. No response. Austin McBroom. <laughs> Just to clean it up. My bad. My bad. My bad for random DM. A close friend of mine. Close friend of your what? Him? Oh, him, this lady. Yada, yada. We read that one. Here's a little pump some more. Hey. What's up? Look, I'm sure you get mad people hitting you up about OF management. Would you be open to at least talking? (laughs) We've got a really good team. And we would love to hop on a call with you and at least get the chance to explain and show you everything. So is this motherfucker going to be on the call? Acting like he would be, I but I know. doubt it. Doubt it. But but that but if someone says yes, they're gonna want him on the call, right? That's part of what seals the deal. I have a. This is so pathetic. I think he might be on that call. <laughs> and, and just to be clear, that Austin McBroom, the previous one, we haven't read that yet. That was someone else that sent that. That was another. Yeah. Oh, it, that it sent oh. the same one too. It's identical. Yeah. yeah. But to a different He's person. Just correct. Machine gunning that shit out. Yeah. What are you doing? This your, is your, your green screen. Is this shaking. is influencer hell. We've often wondered what is the, uh... What are you doing, Ducko? Oh, he's got a chew. He's good. Okay. He's chill. I think he's trying to hide it. He loves hiding his chews. Look at him. Yeah, he's hiding it. <laughs> he's so funny. Oh, he's such a character. <clears throat> um, anytime we give him chews, he'll go try to hide his somewhere. In the gar- he'll go in the backyard and hide it. <laughs> yeah. And then he'll go after Alfredo's. Um, this is influencer hell. <clears throat> We've often wondered where's rock bottom. Boogie uh, has come close or is at rock bottom, although he's not doing this. I never did. Right, and I think you can put your head up high saying you never did this, Boogie. Beat my ex-wife, and I am also a pedophile. <clears throat> that doesn't sound great. I'll be honest. Low pump, hey, hi, what's up, looking for blah, blah, blah. Rice gum? Rice gum's doing this shit? Oh, you... come on. I thought he wasn't a redemption tour, dude. What the fuck is wrong? These people have no... That's, that, those are These pretty old. These people have no dignity. Like, I know it's rice gum, but, like, he's having a kit. Or, no, they lost it. That was tragic. I this, these are from 2021. This is before that. I want to oh. point out. I mean, still... He seems like when he but, made that, we were pregnant, and then when they tragically, uh, when she tragically miscarried. Or no, it was a stillbirth. It was so sad. The yeah. story was horrible. From what I've seen from him, and I don't want to put my reputation on, on him, but he seems like a pretty good person nowadays. That's what I w- thought. W- from I, 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 huh. There was a depth of emotion when he was talking about his, the stillbirth. That's a, that's that a really uh, thing affected sure. me. Maybe, maybe yeah, he's turned he seems, around. He seems really, really like a good person. So right? you're guaranteeing that? He'll never yes. do anything fucked on up. On my own if name, you... I take this on my, my shoulders, all that. He's a good person. He'll never do anything wrong. He's a good person. He'll <laughs> never do anything Those wrong. laughs are fucking hilarious, man. <laughs> Mr. Ed back here. <laughs> Whoa, Mr. Ed, you okay? <laughs> um, well, if anyone has any from 2023 or, or sooner, let's <laughs> send them out. But otherwise, we're going to say rice gum has been... Uh, He's righteous among the nations. That's right. Mm-hmm. That's right. <laughs> yeah. I, I, it, the, the video was truly uh, heart-wrenching. Yeah, it's horrible. Do you make money off the Instagram stuff? Like Instagram posts, she said? Yes, like promo, paid, or anything? Oh, I've made it like a small amount. Have you thought about OnlyFans? No! He's trying to recruit them to do <laughs> OnlyFans now. You could make like serious money on there. This girl was making 8K a month and worked with us and now she makes 200,000 a month. But I think you could be good if you don't want to promote it. We can keep it low key. It's up to you. 
Bro, this is even slimier than the other shit where he's trying to like pimp them. But no, he's reformed. We love him. Pump, hey, hey. I mean, look at all this. This is nuts. There's just endless. Who's wet melons? Oh, that's, <laughs> is that one of the girls that sent it? Yeah, she's, okay. yeah. Shout out wet melons. She's, yeah, she's a big fan of the show. Friend we of mine, Alina. Yeah, she's great. We love wet, wet melons, don't we, folks? Wet. We love melons of all uh, levels of uh, wetness. Oh, yeah. Dry right. melons, misty melons, mm -hmm. dewy melons. It's all popping. At the, the top of this list, um, that was Tyga, but that was all he sent her. She didn't respond. Wow. I've, you know, these Instagram models, girls, whoever are popular, I hear they get crazy DMs from famous dudes trying to smash. Mm hmm. Um, yeah, okay. Thank you to Wet Melons. Love that. Really wet. So shout out to, uh, the, the absolute pits of social media hell. Um, this is amazing, you guys. This is the greatest ad for Sigma Brain of all time. Unintentionally. I don't even know that they know that this is our flavor. This is Mizkiff. I didn't know he was sporting a broccoli assassin. For those that remember. I feel like he's constantly fucking up his hair. I feel like every time I see him, he has something wild going on in his head. That's the vibe. I guess so, yeah. <laughs> I watched this whole thing and it's so damn funny. Um, he's at the gym with all of his homies. And one of them busts out Sigma Brain. And they all not just love it, but they're they're tripped out about it being so good and unusual. This is an endorsement if I've ever heard or seen one. Go ahead. This is authentic. This guy, is this guy doesn't know who I am. Also, yeah, he, I'm sure he hates me with those no. muscles. Well, what flavor is that? You see where this says flavor? Sigma brain. Sigma brain. <laughs> if we made it just for these kinds of dudes. Yeah. Our marketing worked. We reached our our audience. Don't see flavor. Hmm. Whatever. We'll let it rip. The flavor is Sigma Brain, brother. I can't smell that at all. <laughs> so they do pre-workout with gamer Here stuff? We go. I think two scoops is 200 mix. Let's do two. Yeah. 200 of what? Caffeine? When all those pills. Mama ain't raised no bitch. Oh, oh, does anyone do pre workout? Like, what are they doing? Probably just energy. caffeine, right? I, caffeine. I use pre workout to boost the energy. Yeah, it's it's a ca so they want the caffeine. Yeah. Got it. Nice. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Jap, this is big. What is this? My caffeine? Oh, no, it's got a sip. Chat? Oh, I, I, whenever I see an influencer referring to chat unironically, chat, chat, <laughs> I can't do it anymore. The chat thing, I vibe with that. Yeah. I do it all the time. Really? Everybody does yeah. it. Of course. Chat, listen, chat, this is going to be huge. Chat to hey, chat. Just, chat to know. Maybe I'm just out on the. You're just a boomer, dude. And then I have people here to talk to. <laughs> chat, this is crazy. You interact people are going to make a compilation of me saying it now. Yeah, <laughs> yep. exactly. Great. Chat just feels more inclusive, I feel like, than saying, like, guys. Or, right. Yeah. Okay. We love progressive AB. A he's not, he's no longer AB, he's ABC, so progressive. Yeah. Whole damn alphabet. <laughs> Let me mix it first, and then yeah. <laughs> Chat, do you feel like we're doing more today? I feel like we're doing way Chat. more today. Now you pointed it out. Now it's, <laughs> it's a lot. I never thought about it. <laughs> so look at that color, first of all. Gorgeous. Emerald green. Straight from the, uh... <laughs> I don't know what flavor it is. <laughs> Hold on, he doesn't... <laughs> Hold up. So at first, it, oh. it seems as if he doesn't like it. But that quickly changes. You um, see this? There, or the yoga studio? What the hell is that? I don't know. <laughs> You're smelling it like you don't know. <laughs> you don't know if you should drink it or not. Oh, that's wrong. I can't tell what flavor it Be is. Be a Sigma, bro. Taste that shit. <laughs> Miskip is short circuiting. <laughs> I can't tell what that is. Yeah, 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 y
<laughs> you want to try to water. guess? It's probably like a watermelon flavor or something. No. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, you might on, be bro. actually onto something there. It's watermelon? absolutely not watermelon. Stop. Yeah, it's watermelon, dude. It's got sour. Oh, oh. shit. No, maybe not. Yeah. Right? It's weird. I can't I can't tell what the fuck like, it is. I, would, I thought it was at first. That's sour as shit. He loves it. He's freaking out. Uh, look, there's our trainers. Oh, my God. Whoa. Rob, taste that and see if you can tell what flavor it is. This is our boy. The yeah, one who did it. That, so, game or something. The mixologist. That's really good. Yeah, it is really, really good, good he says. Wow. Can we grab wow. that, Zach? Yeah. I heard that. Really good. Yeah, I can pull During it. all future gamer subs reads. According to Mizkiff, really good. Very good. Very good. I can't tell what the flavor is, though. Lime. Lime? Yeah, Lime. he's right. He he, he knows mean, what's up. Yeah. He's a pro, dude. He's seasoned. You can tell. It is lime, ultimately, what they're tasting, I yeah. believe. You got what? Science. Oh, nice. Yep. Oh. Keeps going, though. The whole gym is buzzing about Sigma Brand. <laughs> yeah, that's my favorite. I'm gonna go steal some more though, because he drank half of it. Oh, well. So, what is the entertainment value of watching them assemble gym gear? Well, they just opened the gym. So, just, I don't know, the excitement of seeing somebody build a business, I guess. I don't yeah. Know. They, they <laughs> okay. just opened last week. I don't know. I mean, they people just with chat. have streams on to hang out with people. Right. Is, anyway. Well, is this like a highly viewed stream or no? Yeah, yeah. probably like 30,000 okay. people watching him right yeah, now. I, mean, he's I just feel like big. I'm not I'm not here hating. I'm just Don't fucking I'm hate. a boomer. I'm out of the I'm out of it. You know, obviously people watch this show are way more attuned with real entertainment. Oh, see, I shouldn't even say that. It's not real. It's that's real entertainment. I'm not the gatekeeper of what's entertainment. OK, boomer. <laughs> Guess the flavor. <laughs> Guess it. They had to fill it up because you notice that they hit that shit. They're sharing that shit too. Yeah. The lightning just buzzed his brain. Go ahead. It's supposed to be a regular flavor or some weird ass name flavor. I have no idea. No, uh, it tastes like beef turkey. It's like some tropical. Say it. Say it. Like a cocktail so on the beach. A little with a twist. Go on. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Lime. Uh huh. I have no fucking clue. It's like a tropical berry. The boy. Yeah. Right. Get him to try it. yeah. Is there more? I just, no. It's longer than I thought. No. Should I keep watching? There's mm-hmm. another one here. Let's just let's go to him. Tropical berry, bro. What? Wait. Well, Ms. Kiff, I he guess the flavor. Ms. Kiff, if you see this, pass on the word that it is lime, spicy lime. Is this, is this Gamer Subs? Yo, <laughs> shout out, Wake Wake Wilder. I love this guy. He's Jack, bro, and he's got nice hair. He's the man. He was my uh, partner for Loot Goblin. Oh, for real? Yeah, we won. Me and him. I think he said nice things. That's why I like him. He said he nice thing our about our beverage. Uh, Go on. This guy's gonna nail it. I could tell. Go on. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Wait, this... I know what this is. It's like a passion fruit or something. Oh, oh it's not. Peace. Come on, I put my faith in you, man. I'll tell you what. This is forget about the gym. This is the Sigma Brain stream. I mean, they spent more yeah, time apparently. talking about our beverage. It's great content. Yeah. So there it is, Sigma Brain. Love it. Shout out to Ms. Kiff and the gang. Chat, that was crazy, right, chat? <laughs> that was crazy. That was crazy. Everyone in chat, type in, we love Sigma Brain. Chat, shut up. Chat chat is Don't right. type that. Let's get some chat, 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 Sigma Brain going, right. chat. Chat, 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 chat. I'm happy chat to announce right. that on, on Wednesday, I will be getting a low taper fade no. on the show. I think I'm going to look good. Imagine if Ethan got a low tip of fade. Can we just get Ethan in there? Imagine if I'm gonna remake it. Have uh, his dad find his dad saying Ethan. Just drop that in there. Ethan. (laughs) Ethan. Ab, Ab, you look great with it. You look really good with that low taper. Thank you. Cam. Okay. Well, who's this? I hate it. (laughs) This is not me. I don't know about that. Looking pretty chatted out to me. (laughs) <laughs> Not for me. Dan, who is this man? Bro, 
Damn. Terrible. You don't like it? No. I'd run my fingers through that. Sheesh. Get out of here. Sheesh. Get out of here. Here, of course, whoever did this chose me at the apex of my weight. <laughs> also, the apex. That was it. I remember. You think so? I remember when I wore this shirt. I went to my this friend's wedding. This was the wedding. photo that made you turn it all around. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> it was. I was at my friend's wedding, and I didn't fit into anything, so I had to get this right. shirt. And boy, it was. It was Looking a big good, times. though. Looking good. So we get to see what I look like. Not. Oh my goodness. She looks like um. There's that famous girl with that haircut like that. Ru Ruby, Ruby, Ruby Rose. Rose. Ruby Rose. Who is Ruby Rose? She's in Orange Is the New Black. She's an actor. Mm -hmm. I don't. Yeah, I don't. She's yeah, she been can. in anything recent. Okay, we love it. And Ian, hello, <laughs> dude. Fire. Sick Looking dude. more Adam Scott than ever with that hair. Lena, <gasps> this is interesting. Oh, I love it. What do it's we think about this? Uh, do we love it, AB? Yeah, she could rock anything. Did she that, see this? That she's Lena should ride a motorcycle. Definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think she saw it. Okay. We love it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was just I think, love two weeks ago. I so. think you look good, buddy. Yeah. You're being oh. too hard on yourself. No, I don't like that one. No. Olivia. Something, oh, Olivia. Something's wrong. <laughs> something's wrong? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Everything's going on here, in my opinion. That's the most narrow head I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> for real? For real. For real, for real? For real, for real. All right, we'll skip over that. Sam! <laughs> She's not here either, is she? No. So, okay. And Zach. Dude. Zach, you look really good, bro. Mm -hmm. Would you ever cut I, that I hair? I used to have my hair like that back in, like, 2016. Do you maintain the length of your hair, or are you growing it out? Uh, no, I maintain the length of it. Okay. Chantal gives me a trim like every, I don't know, seven weeks, something like that. Oh, so you're on it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're on it. Are you, Top. would you ever go back to having short hair? I don't know if it's always going to be at my length now, but I think some type of longer hair will always be in my, uh, my life. And why I, is that? It just suits your, I just, who you feel you are as a person? Yeah, I think so. I got you. Yeah. But it, it doesn't look bad. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. There it is. So tomorrow we are going to have a barber come in and give me that. Wednesday. Wednesday. Juicy fade up. Let's um, go. Speaking did, of tomorrow, though, we probably should mention the uh, schedule change. Wait, yeah, Ian, what happened? Because I have Jeff's show on Thursday. Uh, did we say we're going to... Okay, so I'll do both, me. I said. Unless I, it's live. Okay, okay, okay. So we do Thursday... <laughs> Tuesdays, we do... Uh, uh, see you next Tuesday. We are moving those to Thursday, starting this week. So there will be no see you next Tuesday. See you next Thursday from now on. And it's still the same acronym, so. It's perfect. No change required. Easy. <clears throat> easy on the branding side. So there will be no show tomorrow with peace and love for members. See you next Tuesday is being moved to Thursday with peace and love, peace and love. The reason for that is because we want more time to come into the studio and on Tuesday to have time for activities and fun goofs and stuff to film. So this is the benefit of everybody. Well put. Now that said, you are also doing something else on Thursday this week, right? That you just mentioned. Yeah, so also I'm going on Jeff's show. Okay. Ethan. I don't know if it's live or not. If it's live, I might not do my show. Because, I mean, you guys can watch me there. I don't know if that's... But but if it's not live, I'll come back and do a stream. Is that fair? Yeah. Well, I mean, that's fine. what you suggested. Yeah. I don't know if I... <laughs> I think I need to... Might do have to do both. Regardless. Good luck! Well, it's up to you. If you... Yeah, sure. Yeah. Would you guys let me off the hook if I... Uh, if I do Jeff's show live? By the way, um, this is a huge show now. This is important. <laughs> Everybody Google Ryan Kavanaugh. Uh, we were talking about our uh, website about Ryan Kavanaugh. Uh, Does Ryan Kavanaugh look like Harvey Weinstein? The oh, that's Kavanaugh, the one. The American financier. Wait, Ryan, that's the website. Does Ryan Kavanaugh look like Harvey Weinstein? No oh, way. He nice. said that. Oh, huh. yeah. That's now that's a drop. <laughs> I'm so, stressing. 
it, it was offline last time, yeah. and I just wanted to say people, in case they need to brush hey, up on trivia. We're, back. we're so back. In case they get confused about who's hey, who. Hey, suck these balls. Okay, chill, Ryan. <laughs> um, you can now revisit the website. We are protected with Cloudflare, and we are in, yeah. we are entrenched, and we are not going anywhere. I spent a considerable amount of time on this this weekend. Thank you. Off to my, well, I'm scared, because you guys are crazy, and there's too many people. It's hard to host a website that's optimized for that many people. It's getting old, dude. It's um, not getting old, Ryan. You we'll would. See. It's for me. It's not. For me, it's not. So anyway, Ryan, where should the people go if they want to brush up on trivia? Does Ryan Kavanaugh look like Harvey Weinstein? There it is. Dot com, of course. <laughs> Dot com. <laughs> can we get that soundbite on? Like when you hit the the website, can we play that? There is a SEO. or is that bad SEO? That's a bad SEO to have yeah. automatically. Yeah. But I can put a little thing where you click it. I can do <coughs> button clicks, place the sound. Wait, somebody said Jeff FM is live on Patreon. Come on. Like, you, gotta, oh. you gotta make it live for the people. I'm gonna ask to make it live for the people. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Well, I mean, it's a little, I'm gonna say this. It's a little presumptuous to put a guest episode live when he's... I if, think that's just he's profit. Yeah, I mean, if he's profiting off it, then like he's he's including me in his business. I think he normally streams live and then re-ups to yeah, YouTube. Right. Right. But again, do you do you not understand what I'm saying? Not really. You just want I it to be I live. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. it's like that's like me asking a. I mean, it's not as bad. It was like me asking a guest to read a copy read or something. Because I'm participating in exclusive content for his Patreon, but I got nothing to do with that. If it's not exclusive, though, it's just a the live is exclusive. Time to release. The live is exclusive. Right. I don't think it's that bad. Personally, I don't think it's that bad to like have the live behind a paywall and then release it for everybody else. I mean, we did something pretty similar. Well, we stopped because I felt uncomfortable doing that with guests. Okay. Well, fair enough. Which makes me the ultimate human being. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, um, I, d I agree it's not that big of a deal, but I would prefer if our fans could watch it live so that I could potentially Well, get it doesn't it. hurt to ask. Maybe he'd yeah. do that for we'll you. do it live for the people, right, Jeff? Do it live for the people. We'll do it live! Fuck it! I think the website is holding. It's holding steady. Seeing. Hold the line. Let's go, dude. Hold the line. Thank you. Um, so good work, uh... Good work, Zach. Uh, 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 love. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Is there? How do you suppose we can work that soundbite in? Uh, bottom clicks. So, okay. <gasps> oh, wait. Somebody just pointed out. If you're going on Jeff's, should you just have Jeff give you a low taper fade? That's true. I mean, I guess that takes away content from us, so maybe I shouldn't suggest that. But well, I don't think it's that good of content. Eh, I mean, it's kind it's of. It's pretty funny. You think so? It's a. It's funny. All right, it's so, a low taper fade. I don't Come think he wants I guess to do it. It's funnier for somebody who is not a barber to try and give you a low taper fade. That's probably the funniest <laughs> that, comment. That will not. No? Yeah. I mean, I've already done the shitty haircut. I oh, tried that, right. yeah. Yeah, AB. <laughs> Poor AB. <laughs> what about me? I shaved your head last time. I did a great job. You didn't do a fade. You just annihilated my be? head. How hard could it be? No, I tried to fade up Ethan that one time. It didn't, didn't turn out so well. It doesn't seem very hard. I could do it. Fades are not something to take lightly, Dan. This is that's like this is a real school stuff. It's not a big deal. You want to do it? Yeah, I'll do it. Okay, do it. I'll let you do it. Okay, yeah, easy. I'll watch you. I'm not video. kidding. Do it. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Show me how good you are. <laughs> I mean, what? Yeah, I mean, I kind of get it. You go, oh, eight, six, five, yeah. whatever. Yeah, right. You know. I seen him do it. But how little... hard could it be? <laughs> All right. So anyway, that's on Thursday. Let me see if he answered me because I texted him. Do it live! I'm going to text him. Can we do Thursday live? <laughs> okay. For general audience, for the people. Okay. For the people. Ethan. You know what I mean? <laughs> because I don't want our fans to have to sign up for his Patreon to watch content that I'm doing. You know what I mean? How about we stream it on our I'm like Robin Hood in that sense. Yeah, we, I mean, we could stream it for a cent. Yeah, just stream his show on our channel. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> just premiere it live on our channel. <laughs> just rip it from Actually, Patreon. Actually, let's make it a member stream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. All right. Tit for tat. Oh, he you says, oh, he, ask. you know what? I'm going to say big props to Jeff. The first line he sent me, because I said, is it live on Thursday? He says, it's not live on Thursday unless you want it to be. That was his first message. The guy, he's golden. Oh. He's true blue. Wow. He's the man. He really is. Holy shit. Okay. He says he, about the dating thing, I guess he was planning on doing his own dating show. So I got to work out the details of where's, <laughs> who's dating who. But he says he has over a thousand submissions. Wow. Bro, he doesn't... He, <laughs> wow. I'm shocked that this is already off the rails and going horribly. Kind of. That's the tradition of the show. <laughs> no, me and Jeff are going to work it out. He's the man. <sighs> okay, if you say so. I have no faith. In we just went from 41,000 live viewers to 30. Shout out YouTube. <laughs> it's not when to sign up for Jeff Page. Mm -hmm. I mean, dude, YouTube, if Kit can do it, then so can you. Uh, actually, big news, <laughs> oh boy, regarding YouTube streaming. Kick. We just discovered, as the show started today, that they have added user activity to chatters. We can see a log of everything Let's that a chatter has. Oh, that's great. That is yeah. amazing. That changes everything. Changes I, everything and makes so, it so much better. And what it maybe means. Channel activity. Yo, no yeah. way. And it goes back for years. So you guys are yeah, not you guys fucking oh, safe anymore. You there is no, dude, y'all are screwed. If y'all, the ain't nothing. I'm just gonna click a random here. I'm clicking a random and I'm scrolling way back, way ah. back. Let's see something fucked up. Here we go. Hey, Raven. Why did you say that's so annoying? On, what was the date? Uh, see you next Tuesday, number 19. And what, that what was so annoying? And what's the title of the See You so Next annoying. Tuesday? Next CM Debrief. Band <laughs> <laughs> I'm Kidding. But that is pretty exciting. We'll be able to have really nice conversations with chatters now. I love that. Uh, I think... So... If we can figure out a way to see that log outside of the live, like in the YouTube backend, that would potentially mean we could do ban appeals. Oh yeah. Oh, ban appeals are fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that, would, right now, that, that would be such a great segment. Yeah, that would mm -hmm. be fun. Um, you know. I'll have to see if there's a way to see it outside of the live. Yeah, we can. But do, yeah, they're we moving can, in the right direction. We've been asking for this for years from YouTube. We can bring Content Court back with pan, ban appeals. <laughs> right. Oh, true. Um, a actually, different kind of Content Court. On that note, if you are a member right now and you are available to check the Content Court Discord um, channel in our channel, I appreciate it. We're we're looking for Just, material. Yeah. It's always good to source the people because you don't want to miss anything. Well, I've been, yeah, we've been working on it this past weekend, and uh, I reached out to Discord, but not a lot of people saw it, I don't think. So, so the, the subject of it is not, we're not saying it, even though if you're in the Discord, you know, right? But yeah. we're, not, we're not saying who's the target. Yeah. Who's the, uh, not the target, who's the defendant? Right? Right. <sighs> Speaking of enemies of the show, <clears throat> here is the omelet of knowledge he's not really an enemy i'm being i'm being dramatic with these guys ab and, and preach um <clears throat> apparently in quebec he's like a local celebrity and he does stand-up comedy and apparently people like come to his shows and stuff yeah yeah what does he talk about the, like uh, do, 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 break the eggs <laughs> <laughs> it's like get on where's the joke brother Wow, you a bitch. Okay, come on. Go easy on him. Here Go he, easy on him. I, I, I preach. Uh, we kid him. We kid him because we love him. He made a comment about your boobies. <laughs> uh, here he is singing a Michael Jackson song, and we we uh, ran AI through it. So it's just his voice, so we could play it for you guys. Uh, well, so there wasn't a claim on the original. I'd say we should watch the original. Oh, no claim. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. If you want to play both. I that mean. did sound I think we should watch though. the original, and then... Wa and then Let's hear just his vocals. We should do his vocals and then just uh, squeak, squeaky floor in the background. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see what our boys got. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be open-minded. 
Yeah, anyone from Quebec have any details about his local celebrityness? I'm curious. Yeah, I tried to uh, find what the show was called, but uh, I was not successful. I could not figure it out. Is, is he flaring up right now? All right, so oh, he was talking about my Tourette's. Yeah. 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 So he's, so got, he's got a fair game, you know. Anyway, go ahead, Omelette. <laughs> okay. Is this a singing show? We cannot find any context. We <laughs> That's so funny. We can't find anything about it. <laughs> but there's a whole ass room of people. There's a whole TV crew. There's people. But well, you can see the you can see the <laughs> network here. Oh. It says, "Dude, he's he's kind of he's throwing himself into it." That's he's what I'll say. it up. Yeah, it's throwing himself fully he into it. I appreciate right the enthusiasm. Mm-hmm. You can you can see the network name here. It's C Telly T E L E with the the accent over the E. Z Telly Telly. I don't know how to say that. Shit. <laughs> if any Quebec fans know what this is, let us know. Anyway, go on. <laughs> there we go. He really has it all. He's the song. He's the song, the dance, and the philosophy. I don't hate this. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I can't. I can't hate this. He's not. I can't terrible. really hate on it yeah. either. He's not. He's not a fantastic singer, but he is. He's pretty good. He's okay, better than me. and he's better and above he's average. Rowing himself into it. Mm-hmm. Plus, his, mm-hmm. his fit is. I, I dig his fit. Mm-hmm. I gotta give him that. It's, it's you like the fit? Yeah. He's doing the dance from the music video. Yeah. I'll say this. I like that he threw himself. I respect that. And also, there is something that I want to... I don't... Did we uh, call them Reg? Just for Laughs, somebody says in the chat. Oh, so he's doing comedy. Uh, yeah, well, so... And I'll point out, too... Hey, I think I found it. Thank you. Just for Laughs was the uh, keyword. Okay, so this... It looks like it was from a couple years ago? At least this video is. Frosted Rap says, Hope everyone is having an excellent day. Question for Ethan Hila. What do you think of the name Maximilian August Klein? Maximilian. Maximilian was thrown out there, I remember. On Friday, Maximilian was? No, we were talking about. I need the yeah. Max win. I mean, uh, along with <laughs> <laughs> along with a billion others. I um I got to tell you I'm coming back around to Scotty. Uh and, Yeah, what turned you off of it again? Well, I was like I don't want to put that on win. on our on our unborn child that he's like, you know, named after you know, a pet. Obviously, he's so... He's, uh, it's, it's not like Fido. Mm-hmm. Right, yeah. I, um, but, but what I saw was... And obviously, Shredder is much more than a pet to us. He's, he's a human being. But, <laughs> right. But um, I saw that Steve Irwin named uh, their daughter after their beloved family dog. Yeah, Bendy. So if, if it's good enough for Steve, then <laughs> it's, it's good, good enough, enough for, for me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Rex is kind of dope. Though. Wait, Rex? Hold on. Did we? Hold on. Rex is kind of dope. That's sick, actually. I knew yeah. a kid named Rex. He was cool. I knew. I knew a guy named Rex. Also cool. Yeah. It's Rexford, right? That's the full name. Rexford. I think so. I don't like when it's it has to be something. a full name. You know, I kind of just vibe with naming him Rex. I like Rex. It doesn't have to be. And it means king, like Oedipus Rex. Oh, that's right. nice. Not Oedipus, though. You well, no, but, someone but, else but Oedipus that. Rex is the name of the play, I and Rex means king. Can he fuck his mom? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Teddy will love that if you name him Rex. I think he will. Bruce, too. I mean, he's... Aww. Wait, is Rex short for something? I think it's Rex. Well, I see Rexford is a name. Uh, Rex is a male name given, derived from Latin, yada, yada. I guess Rex is just a name, though. Well, you can make it one. You can name it. No, it is. Tyrannosaurus. Rex. T-Rex. Tyranna. First name Tyrannosaurus. Middle name Rex. What about Rexar? Rexar, Rex off. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Um, Let's continue. But I was going to say, did we call them red-pilled? I don't know. Someone called them red-pilled. But I'll say that. Probably you at some point. I think you may have. Yeah, they're not red-pilled. I like that they're in touch with them. with their artistic side. But karma. You know what I mean? But karma. So I respect that about him. Yeah, I was wrong about the red pill. If I said that, I don't know. <laughs> the 
Mask is still fine. <laughs> oh, oh okay. it's not. Not, not. Oh my god. So, what's the? Is it a competition? Is, is anyone okay? It? So, the, the only thing I picked up on, and don't hold me to this if I'm wrong, but the the OP in that Reddit thread at one of their comments mentioned. Uh, Maybe it wasn't the OP. Maybe it was somebody in the, else in the comments that knew what this was from. That the guy that they kept cutting to was somebody that helped him break into comedy, and so oh. this was, he was kind of like honoring him or that guy. Maybe this this whole thing was honoring that guy in some way. I wonder if that guy likes omelets. Mm. Who doesn't? And I mean, he's French Canadian, most so do. probably most those eggshells. I honestly didn't know which side character I was going to see when I clicked this. <laughs> The title is, uh, I saw film Familiar Face singing Michael Jackson. Uh, uh, there it is. Yeah. Now let's listen to the one without backing music, though, yeah. just because we're douches and we, yeah. and we like to do them like just that. Fair warning, because the audio quality of this video is not great. I mean, it, it's, not, it did its it's not that terrific. Yeah. Okay. It's it's decent though you'll see, but I'll say this uh, as a as a body of of people we're sending peace and love to Omelet and we congratulate him <laughs> on his uh, appearance. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it's not bad. It's like he's yeah, pretty it's, good. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. I was expecting it to be worse with that, but let's keep listening. <laughs> God, the, the future is so awesome that we can do this. Like, the future fucking rules. And this is so sick. Oh, man. Wait, did, I don't know if it was the AI or if yeah, he, I think he it, actually stumbled through that. No, nah, I think that was a, a, okay. a glitch. <laughs> All right. Now this part is turning into a fever dream and it's making me uncomfortable. It's so funny. Every time he does the little little dance with his feet, they cut away from his feet for some reason. Well, they don't want to show it. Oh, they just don't understand. Because he's just his sneaker game is crazy. Probably mm -hmm. they don't want everyone at home to be feel stunted on. Weekend too loud. Right. Distracting. But okay, we we give it up. We honor. Omelet. Yeah, somebody said he's no Enrique Iglesias in a good way. That's a compliment. Right. Yeah. He's better. You're better than Enrique Iglesias. <laughs> now play that with his omelet, the omelet of knowledge together. And the squeaks. <laughs> give me give me one sec right. <laughs> to do that. I'm gonna have to juggle some shit around here. Cut away for one sec. Uh, we have a new button slide that we can honor in the meantime. Oh no, sorry, not a button slide, a death slide. I'll just mute it. These people are nuts. Who's doing- what, what the fuck? Who's making these slides? Well, this one, it looks like... It's... It looks like it's hailing. But, <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> what were they even riding? I think it's I'm surprised they all got up. Water. Okay, this is real shit, look at this. Oh, I'll cut it. He grabs the snot off his nose. Oh, I saw that, yeah. And th Nasty. Like, I was like, oh, damn. That's real friend shit right there. Well, they almost killed their friend, so. Look at that. And then he grabs it. But I guess we don't need to see that. Oh, we do need to see that. <laughs> is that friend shit that or is, what? That's friend, yeah. I wouldn't do that for my, I would do that for my kids only. Hmm. Nobody <laughs> else. Well, you just don't have any real friends, I guess. Maybe Hila. But she can do it herself. His friend looks like he's in like distress. Maybe, maybe he was like extra worried. He was laughing. The other dude was really? not laughing. Really? Oh, I thought he he's was crying. He's laughing. He is not laughing. This man's crying. No, this guy's crying and he's laughing. So there it is, everybody. 
And in order to comprehend, you're gonna have to break some. Fucking hell, man. To comprehend, in order to comprehend and to eat the, uh, the, the, the omelette of knowledge, you're gonna need to break those eggshells. Wow. We honor you. Powerful. Preach, we honor you. And in order to comprehend, you're gonna have to break some. This is us. Comprehend. In order this to is us to reaching the across the, the aisle. And offering, this is us so offering extra. an olive branch. And in order to comprehend, you're going to have to break some... A testament to your skill, in order to your talents. Uh, Whenever we talk about burning the witch. You know the era we, where we, he used to burn the witch? He's just a one-of-a-kind guy. He is. never really stopped. And in order to the type of witch was burning break some changes. Yes. In order to comprehend and to eat the, uh, the, the, the omelet. So anyway, can we get more squeaking? To break those eggshells. Yeah. Anyway, thank you uh, for everybody watching. Hopefully you see this, Preach. It's all love here. Made Street Podcast. All right. <clears throat> oh, no. This is so t tragic. We're, the line is falling. Jordan Peterson was officially lost his case against the Ontario psychologists uh, who are trying to Up yours. discipline him for... Being an asshole. <laughs> being an asshole, yeah, talking basically. about patient. <laughs> yeah. I think specifically it was not even being an asshole. It was talking about his patients. Publicly. That was one of them, yeah. Like he's speaking like poorly of them, mm -hmm. which is wild. So here Jordan said, a higher court in Canada has ruled that the Ontario College of Psychologists indeed has the right to sentence me to re-education camp. All right, settle down. It's not a camp. You probably have to watch like a few videos. Traffic school. Also, you're not being forced. You can just stop being a psycho psychiatrist. You know what I mean? <laughs> you're not. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to refer to uh, when you get a speeding ticket and you have to go to traffic school. That's a re-education camp. Dude, it's so dramatic. It's Jordan, you're being such a, you're being such a queen right now. <laughs> you're being such a T-sis right now, George. <laughs> George, George. George. Re-education camp. What are you talking about? It's capitulate to the petty bureaucrats and the adult-pated woke mob or lose my professional license. Again, uh, he's such a liar. Like, it's not cool how he lies about this because I feel like there is prob there are problems, okay, happening with, like, wokeness going too far. However, this is not one of those. He was talking shit about one of his patients on public in public. You don't want what your doctor's doing that. I don't. So anyway, he congratulates them. CP Ontario. CP? Huh? You won this round. Mark my words, however, the war has barely started. There is a nothing you can take from me that I'm unwilling to lose. Bitch, oh, you well. need to sit down. <laughs> Okay, you have everything. You're super rich. You have a massive audience. Nobody's trying to take anything from you. Well, and, he and I love how easy he's like, I'm ready to lose everything. When literally he's, he's risking nothing. He's risking nothing. Yeah, actually, isn't that last sentence kind of revealing? There is nothing you can take from me that I'm unwilling to lose. I don't, think he, yeah. I don't think he cares about losing his psychologist license. He's, or, yeah, he's benefiting the, from this fight because he gets to cry to his audience and get all the sympathy points that he's being censored or whatever. And he doesn't even fucking practice anymore. He's hasn't in probably in, five de yeah, de so decades. He's fully shifted into being a podcaster and a social commentator or whatever. So that's true. They don't have anything that they can really take. There's from nothing me. you can take from me that I'm unwilling to lose. Okay. Then we're aligned. Yeah, so we're like... No problem. He's kind of saying it's all good. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. I think it's his Twitter bio. He wants to keep clinical psychologists in there. That's that's all he's fighting for. Mm, it's not illegal to... Time to remove it, buddy. <laughs> he could keep it. I mean, you coming not... after him for his Twitter bio, you know what I mean? You can't talk... You can't be like, yeah, so I had this one patient. She thought she was trans, but she's really a man! I was sitting there judging her... <laughs> thinking what an idiot she is <laughs> and I do that all the time all my patients are morons they're pathetic there's something wrong with them I, no. fi I film our sessions in private so that 
If I get threatened, I can release it publicly and show what morons they are. I fucked one of my patients. <laughs> Several. Several of them. God damn it, Ontario. I've never done anything weird with my dogs. I'm, you can't take anything I'm not willing to lose. Vagina. He was sus <laughs> he suspended his private uh, clinical practice in 2017 when he said his notoriety made it ethically impossible to continue. Okay. Right. Ethics is why you stopped. So, so like six or seven years since he's actually practiced? Shouldn't you have to like kind of stay up to date to practice in such a like a high level? Well, it sounds field like he doesn't. Not, yeah, bro. You know what I mean? Like you gotta you gotta stay relevant. But anyway, he's he's ready for war. Watch out! Seriously, you've been warned. Seriously, that's Auschwitz. You know what you need? <laughs> you need you need some psych therapy from the board. Let's get really? some board certified therapists to talk to this man. Mm -hmm. Really? You are board uncertified. So there it is. Shout out Jordan. We love him. We're rooting for him. We're all rooting for him. Sorry. 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 Beautiful. 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 Oh, actually though, Jordan, he did he did predict the downfall of Sports Illustrated. Did you hear about that? Oh, are they gone? Well, they're going under. I mean, that writing's been on the wall for like two decades, hasn't it? I mean, what magazine is still operating? No, they put a chunky girl on the cover. That was the end. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was... How long was that? Like they five years? They were flying high. Sports Illustrated magazine <laughs> was selling like hotcakes until, until they fucked up. I wonder, actually, is he doing a victory lap on that? I'm pretty sure, yeah. So, so I'd like to see that if he is. I told it. him no I'll look fatties! At Twitter, but it, it was like a week ago, so it's probably about 15,000 <laughs> tweets back. Um but I'll, I'll I find told it. them at Sports Illustrator, no fatties. <laughs> Did they listen to me? No. I hate fat people, especially some oh. of my clients are yeah. fat. Oh, and I hate it. them. Oh, oh we, we have all. it. This is the original one, or no? This is no, no. This is the the victory the lap. God, 2024. Oh my God, dude, you are not for real right now. Massive layoff hit Sports Illustrated. I can't imagine why. Dude, you're crazy. <laughs> that's like, of course he's gonna do that though. Like, that's but so predictable. It's so but pathetic. No critical like thinking. This is not whatever. the behavior of like a fully actualized, mature person. This no. is so juvenile. She's also five hundred percent hotter than he is. And Jordan, I mean, infinite more. Infinitely I think he has zero more sex hot appeal. than he is. Jordan Peterson has zero sex appeal. I want Jordan I know, to tell me what joke? about him is hot. Yeah, uh, he's got those cool suits. <laughs> Again, all of his fans. Uh, I think she's pretty. Am I missing something? I disagree. The women on I the cover are beautiful. Like that the first and, time. I mean, all of his fans yeah. are like actually. My girlfriend looks what? like this, right? And I yeah. think she's beautiful, right? <laughs> you're such a dick. Like I wish that it would like this would get through to some people that he's right. Not all that, and a bag of chips. Not even a bag of chips, frankly. Speaking of chips. Who's hungry? <laughs> Sheesh. Always, brother. I'm starving. You're starving? I am. I'm starving. You on Subway? I didn't eat since yesterday afternoon. Wow. That, Actually, that's not true. That's I had... Um, I knew you. That, that was definitely... Not. I had fruits this morning. Okay. I had an Asian pear hmm. and a few slices of watermelon. Is that okay? That's fine. That's nice. That's nice. Pears are great. By the way, my weight is stabilized now. I feel like it's at, I'm at about 175. It seems like a great, <clears throat> it seems like a great weight for me. My goal was 170. <clears throat> I'm having trouble getting there. But I think maybe, I think 175 is good. My original goal was 180. So, mm -hmm. um, well, then you hit the goal. So I mean, I'm happy. I am happy with my Give weight. Give it a rest. Oh yeah, people are reminding me in the chat that that woman in the Sports Illustrated is Steve Aoki's niece. Remember we discovered that? What? We were I, about okay. This? What the fuck is with that guy? He's involved Aoki, in every uh, damn thing. Everything. It's Steve the Benihana's uh, legacy, bro. They're everywhere. But why? What is? What is his problem? What is, <laughs> he was with. He problem? hangs out. He hangs out with. Um, 
Brian Johnson, the fucking Ooh. the Live Forever guy. Really? Steve Aoki does? Yes. Go to his page right now. I see him everywhere. Why? Primal. He's, he's, just, he's a busy guy. Steve. Oh, a sure enough. Five months ago. Look at this. An anti-aging diet featuring Steve Aoki. <laughs> Once you guys start <laughs> seeing this, you'll see what I mean. No, Steve Aoki is everywhere. You're, I, I've definitely been aware of this for, for like a long no time. reason though. He just shows up everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. Start. Keep your the eyes open. Media, the personality, you know, multimedia thing. I don't even know a single song yet of his. I don't Me think neither. he really has songs. I so don't what does he do? Really like that? Just kind of like he's a like an actual like DJ, DJ. Like he DJ's he, other people's music. He presses play. So he's yeah, famous he's for famous. that. Yeah, and well, I mean, we talked about this last time, but he, there's definitely a a nepo baby thing going on here. His dad created Benihana's and is super wit, super rich. So if you're I rich, you can just push a. I guess that's true. I mean, Paris Hilton, uh, lots of rich has a people huge are DJ DJs. career. Yeah. Uh, Pauly D. Now that said, he he is well James known Kennedy. for putting on like really uh, racist shows and right. stuff. So is uh, Steve, you know, he he built a reputation on his own, but it definitely helps. Let's see, is Steve Aoki talented? He's extremely talented, of course. And fully self-made DJ. Stop. Who wrote that? Self-made. He did. He self, wrote. He's a self-made DJ. I mean, he's well, unironically no, they even not emphasized. That. They even emphasized fully self-made. Uh-huh. Yeah, what does that mean? That's literally not true. That's crazy, bro. Write that. And to top it off, he's also one of the most humble people I've ever had the pleasure of sitting with. <laughs> I'm obsessed with that. It's funny, actually, how... Oh, th man. That is funny how biased that sounds. I would write that about myself. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I am the most humble person. <laughs> I am fully self-made, and I'm the nicest person I've ever met. I'm the nicest person I've ever sat with. So Why is... What? here? This is my thread. This is from 11 months ago. Why is Steve Aoki so popular? He's great when... He's great when you first enter the scene. His energy and crowd work encapsulates you. Eventually, you grow out of that phase after you realize he plays the same type of set repeatedly. Yeah. How do I know this? Everyone I know who loves Steve Aoki, including myself, haven't been to a set of his in seven plus years. Okay. That sounds. That sounds about right from my my perception. Very good. But I'm seeing now that your eyes are open. Look for that Steve Aoki shit, and when you see him in something, share it. The top five douche. <laughs> Cam just sent the LA Weekly's top five douchiest DJs. Is Steve Aoki on this? Let's see. Who we got? Cascade. Okay. Only three? Uh, Afrojack. Steve Aoki, number three. <laughs> Wait, oh, Tiesto. Oh, no. And then number one, Paul Oakenfold. Yep. Okay. What? Read the Steve Aoki part. It's not loading for me. Uh, Steve Aoki, uh, LA's own indie dance pioneer. Has become just another purveyor of over the top, more Daft Punk than Daft Punk crap house. <laughs> Damn. We forgive him if he hasn't been such an anti dance culture gadfly. Jesus. Okay. Going gadfly? a little bit hard almost. <laughs> Calling a gadfly? That's fucking rude. Steve Aoki, if you want to call into the show, text us because <laughs> I want you to be everywhere plus here. I think it'd be fun. And you're in LA apparently. I'm in LA. Dab me up. <clears throat> All right, <coughs> moving on. Oh, you know what? We don't have sponsors today, so I want to thank. Who do you think? My wife. <clears throat> <laughs> my wife. My wife. My wife, TeddyFresh.com. <clears throat> Excuse me. Damn. Yeah, my wife. <laughs> so many great things. Head on over to TeddyFresh.com. Um, and uh, there's a new drop, actually. Look at the big zip. I mean, look at all these beautiful Burger King shirt. If you want to be fly at Burger King, <laughs> you're just embracing that, huh? I like that. I mean, I can't, I can't say no. The people, that's all they see. Right. Cam, what are you wearing? Uh, this comes out Thursday, I think. This, oh, it's oh. like an acid wash. Yeah. Yo, that's it's sick. Cool. And also, I got the choker too. Oh, yeah. I love that. Oh yeah. Couple, uh, this comes out Thursday though. The jewelry is so. I love the jewelry mm -hmm. that they make. <clears throat> yeah, they just posted a tee. This is a bag. This bag is so sick. Um, oh, are those wow. beads? Yes. I'm excited. It's, it came out really good. So, <laughs> so anyway, this is all happening on. Uh, I think it's Friday now. 
Did we say that? What's the 26th? It's Friday. Oh, sorry. I was just used to Friday. Or 26 is Friday. Yeah, yeah. We're, we moved. You're, you're right, Cam. We just moved it to Friday for a reason that I don't remember. This comes out Friday. Get it then. Get on there Friday. Go, Get on it then. Get it on Friday. Yes, sir. Um, Inspirational videos. We got Jordan. You guys want to order food or... I mean, uh, what would you like, Ethan? What would you like, Dan? I like fries with that. You want French fries? <laughs> kind of. I could eat French fries. That's a good vibe. But here's the thing, though. It has to be close <laughs> enough that they're not soggy. Yeah, that's true. Well, let's get some close fries. Close fries, anyone? Anyone? Close uh, fries? I'll fuck with some close fries, too. Get some fries. Sheesh. What AB, are you, you have? are you logged in, AB? Because Sam and Lena aren't here. Oh shit! The I usual am suspects aren't there. not, but I think I just saw Lena somewhere. Give me a sec. Fries and shit. We're hopeless dip, without dip sauce, Lena maybe. Sam. I actually need to pee, so I'll be right back. Oh my god! Get it together, man. I could uh, figure it out and then forward to Lena. Whatever we decide to get. Donation tab. Sure. Uh, let me hit some of these donos. Um, Dan, look me up. In their log, I dare you. I already did. It's not that nothing special. I, I did throw tomatoes it. a couple of times, which I don't appreciate. It's oh, very look mean. me up in their log. Okay. It's very mean. Apparently, it was kind of mid. Yeah, kind of mid. Alex mid. Toe? Alex and Toe? Nothing. What did you think was going to happen there? Are you trying to catch a ban? Thank you for the $10, though. Uh, Lola Cat donated 20 bucks and said, Gordon. And then parentheses Gordy or Donnie Prescott Klein is wait what is Donnie is Donnie connected to Gordon Donnie nickname for Gordon you just make that up I see Probably. some people okay all right when he gets back I'll suggest uh, Gordon fifty dollars from Molly Rose I had COVID yes I got my booster I don't believe you. I thanks, uh, thanks guys for keeping me sane or insane. I don't know. I was just going to use this money to buy clothes, but donating it to the Shetty cause instead. <laughs> also, shout out Olivia. Well, thank you, Molly. Thank you, Molly. Remember two years there. That's cool. Two years. And Marie Yoder donated 10 bucks. Said, with all the hype about these cups, why not capitalize on the hype and order some boba? Have some pals over and sip boba from a Stanley. The Hunger FF is holding for you. Seems tame enough, yeah. That hunger FF is holding? Is he... Are you suggesting he holds it with his asshole or something? Hmm. Not sure. Not sure. That could be the conclusion. I see why you would go there. <laughs> uh, Five dollars. You guys playing Pal World? No. Um. Well, somebody said they were. Cam said he was playing it. Yeah, but then you were telling me about a controversy about it this morning, so I don't know if I should admit that I've been playing it. But it's fucking rules. I love that. Well, I don't think it's like a controversy that like you shouldn't be playing it. It's more just like, how are these motherfuckers not getting sued by Nintendo? It's that for people that don't know, this game came out this weekend. And it's like a kind of a viral hit. Just a million people are playing it. And uh, it's a pretty fucking blatant Pokemon ripoff. But they got guns. so. But it has guns. Uh, look at some of these characters. It's like there's not Pikachu there. Uh... Yeah, this is not Pokemon. It's What's Pokemon it called? With guns. It's called Power oh, yeah, I World. Yeah, I saw something about this. It's yeah, fucking just, rules. It just came out this weekend, and it's blowing up. Well, what's like the crazy? What's the IP violation? Uh, well, you know, it's not necessarily an IP violation because uh, these are theoretically original characters. But if you just look at it, it's it's called Pow World, and the company that makes it is called. Uh, <laughs> pocket something oh, really? which it's like it literally that. like their name looks like pokemon and uh i mean it's clearly very inspired by it it's a whole world you collect these little animals in balls <laughs> it fucking rules i'm probably you know what i mean it in a well, week so it, but it, i mean they may have changed it just enough to get away with it but um well you know nintendo's gonna try to and nintendo will them. definitely yeah, yeah nintendo yeah. is yeah. crazy uh litigious well we'll see peace so we'll see what happens uh, okay, very good. Yahoo! 
Um, let's move on to... New Alpha Male? Did we not watch this guy before? We have watched that guy before, but yeah. not this video. Yeah. <laughs> this guy's awesome. He's back. He's back, baby. Oh, wait, he was gonna call into the show. What happened? We got a hold of him and everything. He dropped the ball. I forget why. He oh, I remember calling. he didn't grab... Yeah, remember we criticized him. Oh. <sighs> He didn't grab opportunity by the horns. Like I still want to talk to him. To I still, I'll, I'll, I'm willing to reach back out. Okay. Life sometimes gives you a second chance. Seize it. <laughs> Here, let's see what he has to say. You just gotta be fucking real with yourself. You have gotta sit down, just like I. Full screen. I'm real. Realize that you are a worthless. Ah. Fucking loser. That's exactly oh, what I buggy. do. Come on. And once you realize and understand who you, you are, show me. you are. I feel like, uh, I feel like True. last year that would have been me. Mm. True. Oh, shout out to Bo Boogie Doesn't for taking anymore. some of the heat off of you. Taking my fat. He's, he's like that meme, taking the fat hits for me. <laughs> Change will be easy. The problem is that today nobody could admit that who they are is wrong. You could weigh 300 kilograms of pure fucking fat, and you still wouldn't admit that you're fat. Look in the mirror. Are you talking real and raw with who the fuck you are? I mean, obviously, he's just a little shithead. He doesn't know anything. <laughs> so it's like, I, I don't want to criticize him too hard. Yeah. But like, obviously, everything he said is not true. Like, fat people know they're fat. Trust me. Yeah. You're f Do you not realize you're fat? Have you looked in the mirror? <laughs> yeah, that's if only someone would remind them. Dude, you're fat. Yeah. Anyway, I would like to talk to him. Why? Mm, I don't know. It seemed like a, it seemed like it'd be a fun combo. Yeah. But okay. Yeah. We'll see. Um there's more to the ninja. Oh, this guy, yeah. People love this guy. My Abuelo died like three years ago from fucking COVID. He don't even know that his... He don't even know that his grandson made it. Because I used to... I used to tell him that I, I wanted... That man got me my first guitar. He saw me where... Bro. That man got me my first guitar And I Now when I'm traveling I can't even tell you where we are I made this in my job Yeah, I made this in my life I just wish that I could see his ass One more time Beautiful. Emotional. Powerful. <coughs> I ain't gonna cry on a live stream. I'm a grown man. I got... <laughs> That's sad. Horrible. Imagine if Ninja got a low table face. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Where it came from, emotion. Bro. Imagine if Ninja got a low tape fit. It was really so much better. Him. So, um, <laughs> the guy's super talented. He's got a great voice. <laughs> really good. How the fuck did he even think of that? Like, imagine if Ninja had a low taper fade. Like, how do you even put those, formulate that sentence out of thin air? I don't know. <laughs> Sounded like he took inspo maybe from his grandfather he was talking about. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Mm. Maybe. He was doing this for an hour and a half. Papa had a little Wait, taper what's his thing. name? I want to shout him out. Uh, let me find uh, him. We said it last week. Hopefully this guy gets some some Go eyeballs back. from this. Because uh, he's, he's super talented. Eric Doa. Let's see. Eric Doa? Yeah. Eric Doa. Here, send me a link. If I can rep them. All right. I think it's time. That's his Twitch channel. Okay. Here he is on Twitch. Eric Doa. We love him. And we honor him. 
Is he live right now? No, it was a video. Now yeah, that's the mod. Yeah. Uh, whoa, okay. Wow. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, is he live? All right. Shout out to Eric Doa. Love him. Ah, the low taper fade. Okay. We are almost through top of the show. Um, <clears throat> Hour and a half in. This one's the last one. It's a great little thing. Online pastor charged $1.3 million for a crypto scam. Says the Lord told him to take the cash <laughs> for a home remodel. For sure. Legend. Let's go. That sounds that adds up for me. I mean, people charge. You know, Kenneth Copeland said crazier shit than that. Caitlin and I are being charged in a civil charge uh, from the Colorado Securities and Exchange Commission for basically selling millions of dollars worth of cryptocurrency that is deemed worthless mm -hmm. by the state. Now, the reason that they're... So hold on. So they are charging people for crypto scams. Yeah, I guess so. So um, where the fuck is... Why, what's with all these YouTubers running around like... Like Logan Paul. Where's the... Where's the police? They're going after a poor man of God. Yeah. Look how poor beautiful guy. his house is, by the way. Those cryptos uh, monies did him good, man. Lakeside. Gorgeous. Seeing that it's worthless is because there is no exit for people who have bought. We launched an exchange. The exchange technology failed. Things went downhill. <clears throat> and from that point forward, we've just, been, we've just been waiting on the Lord literally for a miracle. So... <laughs> The charges are that Caitlin and I pocketed $1.3 million, and I just want to come out and say that those uh, charges are true. So there's... <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Whoa. Whoa, dude, you just... All right. I guess case closed. It's kind of refreshing to see that, though, because usually, you know, I expect to be like, it's categorically false. You know, I appreciate it. He's like, <laughs> $1.3 yeah, million that dollars that's been... Yeah, I took that shit. What? <laughs> Fuck yeah. Those uh, charges are true. So there's been $1.3 million that's been taken out of, I think it was a total of $3.4 million. But out of that $1.3, half a million dollars went to the IRS and a few hundred thousand dollars went to a home remodel that the Lord told us to do. Yeah, dude, the Lord has good taste. I love what, he, what he's done <laughs> there in that room. Beautiful lighting. I love the green chair. Really, really, the Lord has some, he has some good taste. High, it's high, expensive taste, but good taste. Just like Jesus Christ. Expensive taste. So how this whole thing started is the Lord told us uh, in 21 to walk away from our <clears throat> marketing company. And he said, I'm going to do a new thing. Oh, this is a green screen. Yeah. Ugh. And then he took us into this cryptocurrency. It was a different cr cryptocurrency other than index coin at the time. Well, that cryptocurrency turned out to be a scam. That's and so the Lord says, give that to him, but also give them a 10x. And I'm like, well, where's this liquidity going to come from? And the Lord says, Lord said, give him a 10x. That's some fucking gamba shit right there. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck is this? Dude, this world is. You can't help people from being scammed. They're, people are just born dumb. You, they, you, they say there's a sucker born every minute. And it's, I mean, like after everything we've said, every, everything people know about crypto, this man is out here saying, God told me to give you a 10x. And y'all are in? <laughs> okay. Trust me. Well, as money is coming in, uh, we would be sowing it. And at first it was hundreds of dollars and thousands of dollars, then tens of thousands of dollars. Money would come in, we tithe, we sow, more money would come in. And so we were just always under the impression that God was going to provide, that the source was never ending, that God was <laughs> doing a new thing, and that we had nothing to worry about. And <laughs> we sold a cryptocurrency with no clear exit. We did. We took God at his word and sold a cryptocurrency with no clear exit. And so the prosecutors have to take that and say, these people willingly sold a cryptocurrency with no clear exit. Well, yeah, and then, but they exited. So see, that's the part that's a scam, I think. Right. We took God for at his word? Yeah, I know. <laughs> what the fuck? I, 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 is he not having a crisis <laughs> of faith? It's well, kind of God's fault. Well, no, <laughs> no that, it like, has that, to be. That's smart for his attorney because he's just going to plead insanity here. You God, know? uh... 
kind of scammed us. Yeah, Wait, Steve Aoki, dude, are you seriously involved in this shit? No. Come dude. on, bro. I didn't He's think sorry, you'd though. do that. He's oh, very dude. sorry. Steve Aoki. Come on, man. Um, yeah, is he not having a crisis of faith? He says, God was supposed to keep the fountain on forever. God did! <laughs> and then, yeah. we had to scam everyone when God <laughs> turned off the fountain. Hello? What we're praying for, and what we're believing for still, is that God is going to do a miracle. God is going to work a miracle in the financial sector. <laughs> yeah, he's going to Good do luck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Who will be representing you in court? God. God, God will you step up to the podium, please? <laughs> the lawsuit alleges that besides the home renovations, they also had luxury vacations, cosmetic dentistry, luxury handbags, and a snowmobile. Wow. Oh, you gotta get that snowmobile. God told... So. God did. God's like, yo, get that snowmobile. Not the cheap one. Get the really get nice the one. the good one. Get the one with, like, with the extra horsepower. Yeah. Trust me. Yeah. Trust me, you're gonna be so sick in that. <laughs> God's God's badass, bro. Have you ever seen God do a kegger? Sick. Really good at it. Hey, Amen. <sighs> All right. Well, hold the phone. They raised 3.2 million for more than 300 individuals. That's a lot for 300 Jesus, people. Jesus. Yeah. Wait, what the hell? Let me do the arithmetic on that. Where did they find all these rich suckers? That's ten thousand dollars per person on average. Maybe like a investor, or something. That's... An angel investor? <laughs> uh, yeah, he's a, more like a demon investor. That's good. I want to be a demon investor. Destroy it from the inside. The complaint alleges that uh, Rigaldo targeted Christian communities in Denver and claimed that God told him directly that investors would become wealthy if they put money into index coin. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Well, I'm glad to see that they're charging people for this. You know? That dude's fucked. That man is going straight to jail. All right, we should, we <laughs> should take this Jay Shetty thing head on. Oh, no. Is that the coin? Well, let me see uh, the edge. Index. Hold on. It's green right yeah, now. Yeah, it's popping. Yo, look at the back end, dude. We might be seeing a miracle. <laughs> God is... God is back. God is the watching. The right one, though? Index Cooperative? There's so many of these shit coins. Yeah. I don't even know if this God is, right is God is watching. I doubt it's it. chart probably looks like this, though. Let's be real. I mean, that's... What's Dink Doink at? Let's check in on some of our favorites. Dink Doink... <laughs> now, now that, my friends, is that is a rug pull right there. It doesn't get more rug pull than that. I wonder if people are still holding. I'm sure there are people that are like, well, I could take this out and get 50 cents, or I could keep it and have like 10 trillion shares. Right. Well, you might be holding for our lawsuit, too. Right. Because if you sell, you automatically can't be in the lawsuit, I guess. Or maybe not. I doubt that, but I think it, it would be Probably better be if you better, held it, yeah. yeah. Wow. And people still trust this guy. Is CryptoZoo still on there? Did they, I think they, ruined, they well, pulled was it. Was that even a coin? That was like some weird NFT thing, wasn't it? No, there was a crypto. Was there, that was, oh, CryptoZoo. Yeah, that was part of the scam. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, this one was more legit than Dink Doink. There's a, at least yeah, like a there's few a little bit valleys of and peaks. Yeah. You know? Absolutely. Um, very good. I look, day now. I look forward to his next crypto venture. Yep. I'll be there, brother. Always. Love you. All right, should we talk about oh, Jay yeah. Shetty? It's tough. It's tough to hear this, but I guess so. Um, before I talk about it, I need to put on my pendant. Mm. Because he's not the only one with beautiful eyes. I have gorgeous hazel eyes. His eyes are like... They're okay. Like, here's the thing about his eyes. They look pretty good in person, but under, like, the, the lens, I think they would look pretty dull. Pretty ordinary. 
Whereas under the lens, like yeah. the camera lens? Yeah. Well, like you know, a, in the close up. I don't think like you, in a photograph. Can say Olivia, can you help me? Yeah. Yeah, so if <laughs> like Yeah, that looks terrible, man, for sure. It looks pretty dull. Right. If you look if he did what I did. Like there's only like eight or nine colors in there. If he did what I did, which is God's way, to put your eye right up to a camera and let them film it, mm -hmm. his eye would look like shit. Mm. Thank you, Olivia. He's a coward and he won't do it. But me, I wear my eyes proudly. That's cool, man. That's awesome. Can you zoom on this? You ever seen this? There's a scene in a Demolition Man. You remember that movie? Of course I do. I love that movie. Love that movie. It's really good. Anyway, <laughs> there's a scene where somebody he he rips his eyeballs out with a pen mm -hmm. and then uses it to scan in. That'd be funny if Jay was one of like. It's one of my favorite gags. If because he has good eyes for that. All right. Now that I've shown you guys that, Can we show this. Is this too gory? Yeah, don't show it. Okay. Yeah. It's awesome though. That's a beautiful eye too. Gorgeous. Dink Donk is my favorite coin. So here's the message you sent me. And this is this is just odd because it came out of nowhere. The last time I messaged him was November 16. I said, Hey Jay, you ever want to come on the show and talk things over? It would be super fun. We would have a great interaction, me and Jay. I've seen it. You do. There was chemistry. It was electric. A lot. It was. When we took that photo, uh -huh. our rapport is insane. It's crazy. It I think he crazy. could get along with anyone. Well, let's test not, that theory with not me. Not everyone, apparently. Let's test that theory. Not everyone. So anyway, he responds, this coward. It doesn't say the date, but it was like a week ago. He says, Happy New Year, Ethan, scum. Hope you're well. Good punctuation. He hit the apostrophe in the right spot. All the caps, period. Haha, ha, nothing to talk over. Period. Ha ha, really? You write like that? Ha ha. A little snobbish. Okay, who types out ha ha? I'd be like, lol. Lol, like be one of be a person of the people. Don't be one of these ha ha people. You could tell he's just so <laughs> full of himself. Ha ha, nothing to talk about. All love, he said, praying hands. What well, you're praying for for us? What does that mean? Yeah, what are you saying? Are you making fun of my religion? Maybe. I'm Jewish. Did did you know that when you sent the praying hands? Yo, anti Semitism, Shetty confirmed? <laughs> I'm going to say confirmed. I mean, your eyes are 100% Ashkenazi Jewish hazel. And he can sense that with his Aryan... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Jay Shetty, what the fuck now? What the fuck now? Stare deeply into my eyes, you coward. Ah. The all love, it makes me think that he loves you. You know what I mean? But he, I invited him on the show, yeah. and he said no. Maybe he's just nervous. Where, he, where's part two? This is it. So, so where's the threat? Yeah. Oh, the threat is in the praying hands, because you don't know if there could be a knife, <laughs> there could be a weapon. You told me he and clearly. Hold your on, Dan. Life. Hold on before <laughs> you defend Jay Shetty. <laughs> before you defend Jay Shetty, you told me he sent a death threat. Mm -hmm. Well, I this mean, is the death threat? what are you not seeing about this? What part of this is not a death threat? It looks like he's going to karate chop your forehead. That's what I'm saying. And with all that rampant anti-Semitism going on in the world, I have every right to be in fear of my life right now. You don't yeah. think you're being a little paranoid? No, he's valid, dude. <laughs> I don't see what, what he got to pray over. Yeah, What's what do you got to pray over? My body? Yeah. What are you going to pray at my funeral? We're doing okay as of now. You're not going to come to my show, but you're going to come to my funeral. That's Got it. That's nice. Got it. Paying his respect. He, he's like, I'm praying over your casket with the threat. <laughs> Hold on. This is Jay Shetty. Um, 
This is Jay Shetty, dude, with his praying hands. Give me a break. At my biggest hater's funeral. <laughs> you really gonna do this to me? We had such good rapport. We could have done a spectacular show together. But then you had to get all anti-Semitic. <laughs> <laughs> But, like, really, what's the meaning here? He says, I, I gotta be honest, it seems like he was politely <coughs> declining yeah. your invitation. Yeah. I, that doesn't, I don't know why you felt like your life was in danger. <laughs> the hands, bro, the hands, I told you. I mean, that's you can generally, that's like a, like, I appreciate you, you know, so clearly, namaste. Yeah, you don't know a lot. It does, thank you for exposing your ignorance. He's a, <laughs> the sect of monks he belongs to are warrior monks, and they would, they're known their tactics is they would do the pray hands and in that they would they would uh, conceal a blade that they could switch to for an assassination like peaky blinders oh, it's a pe yeah. yeah it predates pre peaky wow yeah, yeah, yeah. it's an ancient uh pre i didn't know that that's scary mm -hmm. hand looks like a swastika to me <laughs> i don't see hands man Right, it's just one of these away. Like, yeah. I just did like this, what, and this. What do you use two hands for? Make a swastika, bro. A double Heil Hitler, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> that, that, those hands are ready to go up. <laughs> One's dude. not enough, huh, Jay? <laughs> <laughs> One's not enough. You had to put up two. two it does take two hands <laughs> to <laughs> double Heil Hitler. You're right. You know? Oh, no. We caught you. You're busted, boy. <laughs> Do you think he regrets responding? I, it was nice that he didn't ghost me. He actually took the time to respond. Yeah, that's that's what I thought as well. Um, and I but thought, like, and I thought he was being really polite, but I didn't. I didn't. No, you got there was such malice. You got to read between the lines. Yeah. Ha ha! Nothing to talk about. Really, we have nothing to talk about. You don't think that we could sit in a room and talk about anything? Like, well, I'm not mm -hmm. on his level. Okay. All right. Joy, Oprah. <laughs> What's on the O list? A little pocket knife? <laughs> Slay people with? You murderer? <laughs> <laughs> I bet you in his wildest dreams he didn't think I could turn this into like a 30 minute rant where I called him anti-Semitic, violent, <laughs> murderous, murderous scam artist. Did I say scam yet? I don't think you've mentioned any scamming. Hope you're well? Who is he? The doctor of death? Yeah, uh, hope you're well. Grim Reaper? Yeah. yeah. Who is he? Mangala? And why why a happy new year? Wasn't last year happy? Or like Why would I need him to wish me a happy new year? Yeah, what, what's what's that about? Happy uh, New Year, I'll see you on the other side. Look at, look at the first letter of each sentence. H H H A. H H That's three H H H, 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 H laughing at Heil Hitler. Oh. Heil Hitler oh. Heil, oh. Heil, <laughs> Adolf. Hold on. It's Heil Hitler. Um, Hell, my homie Adolf. Adolf. Hang, hang ass. <laughs> Here's um. Wait, I think there's a code in there though. It's it's three H's. Oh no, yep. oh no, not Seriously, the you're never gonna beat the anti-Semitic charges after this, buddy. <laughs> not after this. Okay. Now, if you want to come on the show and bury the hatchet, I'm willing to talk about it. But otherwise, you're toast, bud. No more Oprah. No more Michelle Obama. Wait, wait, wait. Are you inviting him on the show? After everything you just told me? I'm because I'm I'm you know, I've squashed the or, beef. What, well, you know I squashed he, the beef. Has he? You going to let a lunatic like that in the building? No more Michelle Obama. No more Ellen DeGeneres. No more uh Kim Kardashian. Okay? Your career is over, bucko. Hang ass. I don't know what that means. Sorry. <laughs> um, so I mean, yeah. What what else is there to say, really? Well, he clearly said it all. Yeah, I guess he so. said all it uh, and more, man. Basically, spit on my fucking grave, pissed and tap danced, and made, so wished me death. Made nope. fun of Jews, dude. <laughs> well, I'm sorry for minimizing. Bad form. Thank you, Dad. I, I didn't really. I didn't have all the context. Thank you. Bad fucking form. H H H A. Somebody said, "Don't platform him." I, I kind of <laughs> inclined to agree. A guy like that. Well, listen. This is an important conversation. I feel that we can. Oh, this is good. Hail, 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 Adolf Hitler. 
<laughs> and then a karate chop. <laughs> <laughs> and then so, I saw somebody in, the chat, somebody in the chat said because there's three H's, it's H three adios. Mm. Oh, yeah. yeah, I thought that was good. That's scary. Yeah. Adios, you just wish me adios. <laughs> Say adios to that gap deal, because you're done, dude. You're over. It was so cool to see him in the windows at the gap, though. Have you seen that in person? He's everywhere. He's in every it really mall. Was something. Yeah, I go to the mall and I see Jay Shetty every time I'm there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nope. I took it too far. A little too far. I gave Dan a warning. I said, this one might be too spicy. And And it was. It was. But that's why we have the button. I take a shot and sometimes it's good. Sometimes Safety net. Dude, are we doing food? Like, what happened? The conversation kind of shifted. We kind of petered out. We didn't have Lean and Sam. Nobody knew what to do. Nobody else knows how to order food. I'm here now if you guys need Oh, me. thank God. Well, it's three now. Are we going to even have... I, well, I'm, I don't need to eat. I guess You're it depends the on the spot. Tummy is grumbling. Fuck. All right, fuck it. We're moving on. Fuck it. Shout out Jay Shetty, though. He really was dressed really well. Mm-hmm. I thought he looked, he looked really good. Kid Super. I'm kind of over Kid Super though now. I feel like he's oversaturated. He's like, mm. like all of a sudden he's de- designing for Louis Vuitton. It's like chill. You just got famous like six months ago. Yeah, we were just dressing Jay Shetty. For like, the give me a break. Yeah. yeah, slow down there, Bucko. Here's ChatGPT as actually, it's an expert in human interactions because it's scanned the internet so much. Mm. Um, <laughs> ChatGPT, <laughs> when reinterpreting the message, Happy New Year, Ethan. Hope you're well. Haha, <laughs> nothing could talk. Can to talk over all love praying emoji with an underlying or evil or sinister intent for a not for a novel So number one <laughs> Ignore all that <laughs> number one mocking tone The sender could be feigning politeness and goodwill happy new year Ethan may be dripping with sarcasm Especially if Ethan is currently in a bad situation known to the sender mm-hmm. I'm always in a bad situation because I'm not him Hidden threat. That's what I was saying. Yeah. Hope you're hope you're well might be a veiled threat. In the right context, this could imply the opposite, that the sender actually wishes or knows of some harm coming Ethan's way. <laughs> what do you do? Good point. <laughs> Sinister <laughs> subtext of nothing to talk over. This phrase could imply that some sort of plan or scheme is already in motion and there's no need for further discussion. A plan that Ethan is unaware of and could be detrimental to him. All love with malicious intent. The phrase all love might be an ironic statement in evil context. It could mean that the sender's actions, however harmful, are done under the guise of love, which is actually manipulative or obsessive. Praying hand, praying emoji hands is a symbol of doom. <laughs> In a twisted way, the praying emoji hands could be used to represent not a gesture of hope, but a signal of impending doom, of a sort of final prayer for Ethan before something bad happens. Look at the fuck. Get a load of this guy, man. Yeah. There it is. Don't ever talk to me or my kids again. Get out of my kids' DMs. Oh, sorry. That's not funny. They're not on social media. Mm Mm-mm. I didn't mean like in a sexual way. That's not what I was implying. It was, I just, I was doing the meme, don't ever talk to me or my kids again. That's a meme, right? Sure. Sure. Don't ever yeah. Talk to me or my son again. Mm-hmm. Clearly, he's obsessed with me. <laughs> and it's getting creepy, frankly, Jay. It's time to move on. Beast. So let's see, we got Mr. Beast uploads his first video on X, which is pretty interesting. I think it's a game changer. 
We are currently surrounded by countless sharks. Đây là những thợ săn tiền thưởng chuyên nghiệp. Una Starkers to the Bros. Here he is. By the way, this is what he was wearing. How much you want to bet that white shirt costs like 500 bucks? Because he is that smug. What are you, Napoleon? Who puts their hands in their pocket like that? Just chill, dude. He looks I, fire in that fit, though. The fit looked really good. Yeah. And he's very trim. For His real. physique looks good. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he's like, has six pack. He probably does, mm -hmm. knowing him. And he's riding the high from the conversation you guys just had. You can see. It was the rapport. Yeah, he just dominated you. <laughs> He's so happy about the rapport. <laughs> well, to be fair, we did meet him outside the, yes, the red carpet. Yes, I remember. So the timeline adds up. Mm -hmm. All right. Enough, Jay. Stop obsessing. <laughs> so we got Mr. Beast. We got... Uh, Stanley Cup. Let's do the Stanley Cup. I'm actually really, I really want to <laughs> Wait, test that. I think it, well. Well, the, the low doesn't take too long. This is just a taste of the fire. Okay. You got so, the cup, baby? <laughs> okay, so we have the Stanley Cups here. Ethan got, is so fascinated by this. Here we've got the Hydro Flask. This is the one I use. Uh -huh. Totally sealed. This is the Stanley Cup that everyone's losing their mind over. Now, this seals, right? Because it has a straw. So it does seal. Okay, good. So we're going to fill them both up all the way with ice to give it the best possible chance of surviving. The reason we're doing this is because of the original video that um, created quite a dialogue. Here it is. This man had a car fire. God damn it. It's in a fire yesterday. It still has ice in it. Oh, hey, fuck. Danielle. My I name is Terrence Riley. I'm the president of... Wait. Wait. When did this? Well, hold on. Okay, I didn't know this guy got involved. Stanley. All right. It's in a fire yesterday. It still has ice in. Hold on. She. So, so according to her, it was a fire yesterday. Yep. And there's still ice in it. <coughs> I don't believe it. I just don't believe it. I do. I Thermo donant. There's like the laws of physics would have to be violated in some way. Well, it might have been in the door. It might have not been in direct flames, I'm thinking. Sure, sure. But then it was like a whole day later, too. Because I've had ice in my mind for three days, probably. No. So, yeah. Three yeah. days? Yeah, it, it'll last for a long time. Well, we're going to find out. Um, let's see what this guy has to say. Hey, Danielle. My name is Terrence Riley. I'm the president of Stanley. And we've all seen your video. Wow, what an ordeal. And we're all really glad you're safe. Thanks for sharing the video because, wow, it really shows how Stanley, our Stanleys are built for life. Because what it went through with you, I couldn't think of a better example. I gotta say, of. this guy sees the moment. If this isn't viral marketing scam, this guy really sees the moment. Absolutely. Seven million likes on this shit. This dude's selling more cups than the damn, uh, the church shop. All right. All right. Who sells cups? Yeah, yeah, Bath yeah. and Beyond. The aquarium gift shop. The cup store. The ice cream place. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Got him. Of our product's quality. But anyway, we're glad you're safe. I've seen a lot of comments that we should send you some Stanleys. Well, we're going to send you some Stanleys. But there's one more thing. We've never done this before, and we'll probably never do it again. But we'd love to replace your vehicle. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. All of us at Stanley, we'd really like to replace your vehicle. So check your DMs for details. Thanks. Be safe. Cheers. That's very kind. That's nice. Yeah. You think he's going to buy well, her a new one or like a used one? Used, yeah. Used. I don't know. I Lightly. think he's going to buy her a new one. Mm. Can we follow up with her? Let's see if she got the car. Everybody's <laughs> so concerned about if the state. Whoops. Here's the whole video. Everybody's so concerned about if the Stanley spills. But what about the milk? It's in a fire yesterday. It still has ice in it. All right, so bring it out. So here's the Stanley. Full to the top with ice. You can hear the jiggle. Okay. Here is the hydro flask. Is there water in them? Yeah. Okay. They're both full of ice and water. Yeah. 
Choke to the top of the ice and then water over. So this one has less space, but I think you could probably hear that. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put them in the wash. Yes. Turn it up. High heat. High heat, baby. 130 degrees it gets in there. Now that's consistent heat. We'll give it like 10, 15, 20 minutes. What do you yeah. think? Yeah, I'd say that's enough. Now my prediction is that both of them will be fully melted. Oh, I, I doubt they'll even melt. I give them start. Maybe not fully melted, but like sub significantly melted. Sure. Anyone else want to throw the prediction out there? Burn. Burn. So just Kenneth, <laughs> Kenneth Copeland thinks they will burn. Mm -hmm. Um, let me see if she got her car though. Let me see. It seemed like it's the pinned one, right? The pinned video. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah. She got it. Oh, that's a new car. Oh yeah, that's sick. What a- okay, hold on. What a journey. Thank you so much for being here for it. I can't say it enough, this- Okay, whatever. Hey, you guys wanna hear a crazy story? I guess we can start here. Yep, that's our car on fire. That's a pretty serious fire. No, we shit. don't know what caused it. It just happened. And that's right after the fire department left. The lunchbox you guys love to talk about. We were at the junkyard the next day trying to get stuff out of the car. I went to go pull the Stanley out of the cup holder and noticed it still had ice in it. Everybody's so concerned about if the Stanley... I think after seeing that video, I can say that it, it definitely took a lot of heat. Yeah, but it was an indirect fire probably. It was probably for, but sh not for a long time. Mm -hmm. Heat. What do you think? Do you think it's going to live or, or melt, Dan? Uh, through the dishwasher? Yeah. It'll live. For sure. Hmm. <laughs> Let's give it more <laughs> that, time that's then. Disappointing Let's you? give it more time then. Let's give it 30 minutes. Okay. Well, I just don't think it, it'll get hot enough in there to pierce <sighs> All right, the we'll iron veil. I mean, listen, if it can stay that cold in 130 degree... Um, humid environment. Uh, that's impressive. Someone says it's giving insurance fraud. Hey. Where did you get 130? Fire yesterday. Still has ice in it. I I googled it. Before we left the junkyard, I had hit 30,000. I just said, what's the temperature inside? Uh, I'm machine. seeing ranging from 140 to 170, depending on the make. And 130 model. seems kind of low. A pretty good one. We have a good one. Yeah. So maybe, okay. All right. We'll see what happens. We'll see. We'll see. Do we have a manual ther thermometer? Because you could put that in there and then take it out and see the temperature. No, I think we just have the one we bought oh, the other fine. day. All right. And got a DM from Stanley that, that night that they were going to send me cups. But soon after that, everybody was talking about my video and it was in the millions. 24 hours later, I got this DM from Stanley, and then hey, saw what you Hey, Danielle, my name is Terrence saw. Riley. I'm the president of Stanley. But we'd love to replace your vehicle. Yeah. All of us I just Stanley, watched this, so I'm going to really politely like skip over it. Thanks. Be safe. <coughs> Cheers. Here we are a month later, and this is my brand new brand 2024 new. Mazda CX-90. Wait, hold on. If it's if it has a license plate on it already, that tells me it's not brand new. Ooh, fucking. Although ooh, it could be a dealer's a plate. Spot. A certified pre-owned purchase would also not have a license plate, probably, right? Maybe that's not significant. Could you zoom Beautiful in? Beautiful car. <laughs> yeah, you want to run the plates? <laughs> it might be. Paper. I can't tell. Yeah, that might not. That might be a dealer plate. Yeah, yeah. those are temp plates. It's forty thousand, by the way. The car. Oh, that's yeah. a really, that's a nice car. Yeah. Holy shit. That was super, I gotta say, great move. Oh, Mazda? Wait, hold the phone. This is all marketing. Bro. Wait, hold the phone. Mazda USA has the top comment. So honored to join your journey, Danielle. We hope your Mazda CX-90 rebuilds your trust in cars and elevates the moment your family shares on the road. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did Stanley buy this or not? It doesn't sound like it. Mazda probably donated that shit. Okay. 
now I'm very skeptical of this whole thing. And I know you're you're the hater, love. Are you sensing what I'm sensing? You think the whole um, thing's fake? I I think it's very possible, yeah. I do. It could be. But um, I, I'm not convinced. I do think after the fact, uh, Stanley probably just messaged Mazda, yo. <coughs> or Mar, I think Mazda reached out to them. Yeah. They All probably right. saw that attention. Mm-hmm. Because this this is worth its money in gold, like giving for a both car of them. up for yeah, definitely. both yeah, both of them. It's yeah. crazy. Well, either way, I'm happy for her. The dude who's in charge of the Stanley marketing is kind of a genius. He initially worked at Crocs. <laughs> oh, then, he's the genius. He's the genius. Yeah, and he like doubled their sales like his first year, and then since he started, he's just had these insane ideas that have helped them grow okay. like crazy. Yeah, and they also happen to have this crazy genius marketer. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think the video could have been real, and then he already has a connection in the industry. He could have reached out to different car companies and said, are you interested in Mazda? But isn't it too perfect? Like, a car fired. They don't know why it happened, and the Stanley Cup sitting right there. Mm. What's Who's this guy, by the way? Um, I forgot his name. It's the guy who was just in the video. Um, it goes real fast. I love it. I want to so hire much. him. <laughs> <laughs> Reach out, bro. I don't think you have Hi guys, money. guess what today no. is? New car day. It's my new car from Stanley. Big no, no, like, from Mazda. What are we doing here? Wow. Keep she your holds hands up the off cup. my fucking car. It, it's Did almost you like ask for a more perfect ad. I feel like Mazda is almost doing like a stolen valor here. They're accusing Stanley of stolen valor because everybody's giving Stanley the, the props, but Mazda, they came in and they go, "Oh, we." We joined your journey. <laughs> or or if joined if Mazda didn't pay and they left this comment, that's crazy. <laughs> See, now I need to talk to the Stanley guy and find out, did Mazda donate this or not? They for sure did. So then why is she saying thank you, Stanley? Well, she might not be in on it. And look, it's not even melted. <laughs> I mean, it's the same reason that people thank David Dobrik for the Teslas, I mean. So that's my story. Oh yeah, it's a, it's a fake license. There you go, Stanley. Stanley in 1913. My car caught on fire, and thank goodness none of my family was hurt. And all that came out of this was good things. It's a nice car. A brand new car, and this wonderful picture of me picking my nose. No, I wasn't really, but it was my favorite picture of the day, and I look like I'm picking my nose. Anyway, moral of the story, put yourself out there and make yourself vulnerable, and you just might get a free car out of it. That Probably won't, won't be. Oh, I you going to say, <laughs> don't commit uh, auto fraud. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Burn your car up. No, I'm kidding. Cool. I wonder if they made her pay the income tax on that. Because hmm. she's getting a $40,000 gift. The yeah, IRS probably. counts that as income. Right. It's just kind of fucking wild. This company's been around for 100 years, and now they're... Getting super popular. As A.B. said, there's something going on. There's some genius behind the... His name is Terrence Riley. Yeah, I sent a little blurb, and that, those are his uh, sales after he joined. Let's, let's learn about this guy. 2020, Stanley brought on Terrence Riley as its new president. Oh, that's the guy. Yeah, that's him. Oh. Riley had spent the past seven years at Crocs, where he led the strategy that turned the rubber clogs into one of the hottest shoes on the market. Crocs are so in. Mm -hmm. Still. Yeah. Here's, um, since he started, here's Stanley's revenue. There are. 800 million? Yep. <laughs> Selling cups? Yep. I mean, they're already crushing it. If this is 200 million, it sound, looks like they're at like, you know, 75 million or something. Fuck me, dude. All right. That's a lot of cups. If you're watching, uh, please email me. <laughs> I'll give you everything. I'll pay you everything I make. Sounds like it'd be worth it. Sure. You pay him. Know. Just pay him. I, I, I don't think you can afford him. I cannot afford him. <laughs> I cannot. He might I, message us and say, I've been watching since the Israel days. <laughs> sure. Stanley, I will pay you so much money. Or not you, Stanley. The guy. Terrence, I'll pay you so much money. If they're if you're not making like ten million dollars a year, something insane, talk to me. 
I can't pay you that much, not even close, but talk to me. <laughs> but still talk to me. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, there you go. I'm telling you, people were saying this isn't interesting. This is interesting. And we're going to get to the bottom of it. And t on Friday, when it's not raining, we're going to burn those motherfuckers. Uh, it's theoretically going to be dry on Wednesday, I think. Oh, Wednesday we're going to burn them, huh? <laughs> weather in Los Angeles. What's the weather like in Los Angeles? I don't know if you guys have seen the absolute mania <laughs> happening around these cups. This is a holiday or a Valentine's Day sale or something they're having, and hordes of women. The, sure. wim the women love them. It's a collab, Valentine's Day. Who's, how do you collab with I'm a I'm sorry, it's a, it's a special edition. Okay, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, here they come from all directions. Oh, there's dudes, okay. Only the ladies are running, though. Um, these people, they need this Stanley Cup. I'm sorry, it's Target collab for Valentine's There's Day. even an old lady in there, you see that? Even she's in the mix. I need it for my granddaughter. Oh, you think she's going granddaughter points? Look at this lady. Look at that. She's power walking. She didn't walk that fast <laughs> in 20 years. <laughs> Probably. So are we just, are we just fully like, if a kid shows up with a cup that isn't a Stanley, he's getting a fucking he gets swirly in the toilet? Absolutely. No, there's actually, yeah, there's been like articles about that. Kids getting bullied. What? <laughs> yeah, so didn't we up. talk about that on Monday? Yeah, or we talked about week? it a little bit, yeah. yeah. That they just get spit on and fucking because they're broke kids. or poor. You know what? I should start a charity where I give out Stanley Cups to poor kids. That's we're changing the world. <laughs> Name brand water bottles. We're getting changing the world Absolutely. here. Oh, this is the video. Here's more of people um, mobbing the shelves. Uh, oh, this is all taking place at Target. So this Valentine's Day one was... Look how fast they go, hit. man. Mm -hmm. Bro, I swear to God, this is like bread in a famine, the way I they're grabbing like shit. I need six of these. Yeah, they had to change uh, the two limit. Per, yeah. It says two, two per person. Hmm. But you show up with your whole crew, your whole family, and each grab oh, there two. Was, there was a few left. <laughs> look at that. But you, you, we, we went to, to and bought a Stanley, no problem, right? Um, yeah, but we didn't get one of the yeah, shitty ones. basic ass yeah, one. Basic yeah, one. okay, not a collector's. Fuck me, man. They're at the uh, front page of StockX. How much is it going for? Um, depends. The, let me see the Valentine's Day one. Uh, Valentine's Day. <coughs> they had a Starbucks collab one. That one is really, that one's really hot. Two hundred twenty. How much? Two hundred and twenty dollars. For which one? The Star uh, Starbucks collab. Oh. And how much does that retail at? Like forty bucks. Forty five. And Dude. then the uh, the Target one's ninety four dollars. Lowest ask. Apparently, the people buying that did not hear that t Starbucks is being uh, boycotted. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, I was thinking if people want to get one, Dearborn's a place to go. Oh, <laughs> yeah. true. Yeah, everyone's coming in from like uh, neighboring cities and yeah. striking gold. Yeah, I still don't understand the the. Yeah. So I, apparently, uh, Terrence Riley. That's the. Was that the? That's him. Mm -hmm. So we delivered the car. Stanley offered to replace women's vehicles a few weeks ago. <coughs> Is intended merely as a kind gesture in an increasingly unkind world. Okay, give it a rest, dude. Chill, bro. Somehow our simple act of kindness went remark. Somehow. Uh-huh. Yeah, somehow. Our simple act of kindness went remarkably viral around the globe. Who really knows why? I guess people everywhere are just tired of the meanness in this world. I don't like this guy. I All right. Should Unless he... The, the offer. Can we, uh, what, what's his salary? Can we look that up? <laughs> Sometimes it's public. As it, promised, we delivered the brand new car to Danielle uh, requested. We did so without a lot of marketing hoopla, opting for a simple little <laughs> moment as the car is now her story to tell. Thank you, Danielle. You can't, dude, this guy's a, this guy's a shark. <laughs> yeah, this, this, this is, motherfucker is a this bona fide is marketing crazy. psycho. Yeah. What's his last name? Riley. Terrence, Terrence Riley, Riley um, uh, 
<laughs> salary. Yeah, I couldn't find it. I'm looking. Maybe he owns stock. He, Maybe we can to find get that someone out. that big, you have to give him. Yeah, right. You have to give him stock. Yeah. Oh wait, shit. So here, here's some info about it. I'm trying to decide if I can afford him or not. Um. Over the last blah blah blah. The, okay, no, this isn't about him. Yeah. Yeah, he probably he probably gets a shitload of of stock. Yeah, I'll give you stock. <laughs> <laughs> we just wanted to donate these hoodies as a simple act of charity. Why? Who knows? The yeah. world is a cold place. <laughs> we didn't want to do a lot of hoopla, just to film a simple video. Not a lot of hoopla. <laughs> this dude out here. <laughs> this motherfucker. I'd love to pick his brain. All right, how long have those been in there? Uh, they've been there for about ten minutes. <sighs> All right. Yeah, he probably. He probably. <laughs> let's take one out. It's way too soon. It's been ten minutes. Yeah, it's, it's probably, probably still not. just in the rinse cycle. Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> What's the Starbucks drama said? Someone said they're apparent. Or I mean, sorry. Well, hold on. Let me acknowledge these really generous uh, gifts. Thank you so much to Bella Simmons. Nice gifted. to see you. Twenty gifted. So nice of you. Thank you. And Manny says hi. Hundred bucks. Thank you, Manny. They hi donated high twice for hundred dollars a pop. Hi back. Double high. We see you. Hi, Manny. Um, Starbucks is being boycotted by some people that say it's supporting Israel. And I don't, like, I, there's no Starbucks in Israel, I know, because I lived there. And it was like, it was kind of like a story that they tried to be in there, and apparently nobody wanted to They failed? It. Yeah, it failed. They failed to, like, get into the market? Yeah. Huh. That's surprising. Because, like, there's even Starbucks in, like, Europe now. And, at, you know... The narrative early on in the life of Starbucks was that they were too snobby about their coffee to uh, <clears throat> to accept Starbucks, but I think it's all over the place now. There's just I think there's like beloved coffee chains in Israel that they didn't want to. Uh, people just were comfort more comfortable with. I don't know why. We they don't they don't make that Turkish style. Mm, true. Yeah, it's supposed to be that uh, Starbucks um, finances uh, Israel. They send money to Israel, but. Huh? They've denied that. Why would they send money to Israel? Like, for what purpose? Who, which, which, a coffee company just sending them money? Does Starbucks send Israel money? Like, I mean, on face value, it doesn't make any sense. Starbucks has said that neither it nor Schultz provide financial support to the Israeli government or army. Why would they? I right? don't, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't think corporations just give money to governments, <laughs> oversee governments. Maybe they do. Maybe I'm missing it. Does Starbucks give money to Israel? Those calls have generally focused on two companies, McDonald's and Starbucks. And though each company has sought to distance itself from the conflict and issued statements saying they don't support or donate to Israel's government or military, that has done little to quell the boycotts. McDonald's too, eh? I didn't even hear about Mickey D's. Mm -hmm. You can't boycott McDonald's. They could be straight up, you know what I mean? They could have a, they could have straight up crucifixions in their parking lot. People still showing up for those Egg McMuffins. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. There it is. Starbucks, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah. So there it is. What do you think about the fire test? You think it will survive that? Uh, I'm more skeptical on that one. Direct fire is pretty next level, to be honest. It'll be on hot coals, which essentially right. is direct fire. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Probably melt the plastic. <laughs> it, there will be melting, for sure. Um, but I don't, I think the actual incent, uh, uh, insulation part is metal. Just yeah. plastic piece. Yeah, but the outside. <laughs> you guys want to talk about Bevo? Sure. I love Bevo. 
I'm kind of late to the game. I've had this in the document for so long. Um, but I feel that I was an early adopter of Bevo. This man was on my radar before the fame. Uh, here he is. Now, when I found him, I wasn't sure if he knew why he was famous. He does this thing where he eats and he doesn't chew his food. And every time he swallows, it seems like he's going to choke to death. It might be hard for you to watch, A.B. Do you, do you feel that or no? Yeah. <laughs> What's the deal, though? He doesn't choke. He, he like, straight up I wish swallows. I knew his secret. He must have a fat fucking juicy... <laughs> There's been some not close. a fuckable tight little hole like yours. <laughs> yeah, there's been some close calls with him. Like, <laughs> yeah, there have been. Like I'm like, yeah, in his eyes you can see. So let's take a look. Um, yeah, when I saw this, it went viral, and I thought it was like an accident where he just posted this, and it might have been. Uh, but it seems now he knows the meme is to not chew. So I don't know if he became aware or if he was always like this. <laughs> But here, this is one of the classic ones. This one came out in December uh, 3rd of last year. This... Big up the hangover, beef, <laughs> roast dinner, beef, whatever. Listen, we got beef. Uh, they are, I don't know what they are. We got pigs in blankets. We got a Yorkshire pudding, peas, potatoes, parsnips or turnips, one of the two. And um, Brussels sprouts, but split up. So let's get into this. You know the rules as well. Jamaican style, big up the Levi Roots thing. I actually rate this. He I've always says you know the rules too, but there's never been any clarification about what those rules are. Mm -hmm. If you know, you know. If you know. know. Now it seems like the rule is no chewing, but it definitely didn't mean that in the beginning. <laughs> Levi, sort your man out. Oh, he Send says, me he actually, he says here the rule is put the Jamaican mm. sauce Please. on Kind of looks like me. Oh, sort of like fused with Mr. Beast. Sweet. Right, let's get into he this. He looks like him. <laughs> Mr. Bean. <laughs> Mr. Beast and me fused, we'd be this guy. <laughs> All right. I Chet, see it. Chet's saying it too. Yeah. Really? I don't see it. Yeah, A Bevo. <laughs> hmm. A Bevo. That's good. That's good. Oh, it's really raining, eh? God damn. Yeah. No leaks. It's a rainy day in Los Angeles. We fixed the leaks. Good. Thank God. We fixed We had, roo we had we, some roof repairs. We had roofers. Come, yeah. Dan fixed it. Yeah, I got up there and I tarred it up. Thank tarred you. it. I just want to make sure their work is good, but it seems like it is. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, I've, I looked around this morning to see if there was any leaks. Very good. All right, Bebo, go ahead. Just write everything out of 10. Uh, whatever that is, I keep forgetting. Brussels sprout. Oh, my God. I've saved him very well. This one's... Very nice. That they one's pretty up, normal. Uh, 7 out of 10. Pigs in blankets. Sorry, Aggie, again. So I, I'm almost certain that he doesn't know that people are watching for this reason at this point. Mm. Yeah. I think he's just being himself. <laughs> oh. And it's, it's the way he Whoa. swallows. It looks like he's has his, he's <laughs> dying. his life flashes before <laughs> his eyes every time he swallows something. I've mostly avoided this guy, so I'm being... Why? My... He's a sweet guy. He's in, he seems like a nice guy. I did not, it, not against him or anything, but this is this is gross. Like I nah. saw it once and I was like, oh, it's gross. And then I've just never clicked on the link. I don't know. Why. <laughs> to me, it's so funny. It's so funny. You and everybody else in our group chat. Oh, this is this very well. The Big up the personal <laughs> chef, aka the dad. Send so his dad cooked it. Uh, beef. I'm just going to just try and chew this. Uh, beef. I'm going to try. Beef. <laughs> he's going <laughs> to. Oh, this is going to be rough. Yeah, he's not the most elegant either. But who am I to judge? He shoes way more when to start. Uh, mad chewy. Ooh. Mad chewy. Still mad my size, chewy. 7 out of 10. It's looking well. Yorkshire, we're going to rip a bit off. What is that thing? Yorkshire pie. Just bread? <laughs> mm. This one's, like, Yorkshire. This one's actually not that crazy. I think you're right, though. This is before he embraced the meme, you say? Right. The, I think the crazy part's the potato. Here. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> that was too... Yeah. Too chew swallow on, like, a big-ass potato. He's amazing. That's crazy. One more the time. Throat go, dude. For real. One, two. Whoa. Oh. That's wow. intense. How does he not choke? On, on it, frankly, almost just one chew, because he... 
Yeah, the first one's a positioning. Joke. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Ten and then he breaks down once. Let's get right into that. Look at that. Bang. Bang. That's one chew. That's one oh chew. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very, so it was the potato that made him go viral. He right. just dry swallowed okay. that entire okay. potato. This season's very nice. Seven out of ten. How I think can that's you, it. How do you know? Oh, pass him. How, the, how could you have tasted that. that at all? It's crazy. <laughs> also, the thing is, <laughs> god damn, boy. <laughs> you all right? Damn, dude. <laughs> One is more he time. alone? He should not be doing this alone. This is how he eats. Here he goes. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I slap my throat. <laughs> big up, but listen. <laughs> big up the hangover beef dinner. It's like dinner. Russian roulette. Overall, seven. No, I'll give it an eight. I know I rate a lot of stuff at seven, but big up the eight out of ten on the dinner. Gonna go live. Make sure to come over. Catch you in the next one. Jeez. So. Nice. Wow. I love that he talks exactly like Ali G. <laughs> True. Yeah. So, um, this video has. I don't know, a lot. He's been blowing up like crazy. He has 1.2 million now. Oh, he, his, another funny thing is his teeth are always falling out. And then he's getting new teeth. And then they fall out. Oh, no. So that's a whole nother subplot with Bevo. Let's see. This Reveal. one is 8 million. Big up Turkey, big up UK as well. See some five days later. I'm not going to keep you waiting any longer. I'm not a Mr. UK TikTok, but cheers. Look at that. You know the rules. Listen, Bevo, turkey teeth. What we say in, rate them down below. They're definitely better than a 7 out of 10. Big up the teeth. You know the rules. But listen, if you ever want to get your teeth done, drop me a message. Big up UK oh, Smiles as well. Nice. Message UK Smiles because honestly, five-day wow. turnaround. Got here Monday. Treatment started Tuesday and I'm done on Saturday. I'm Nice, bro. Turkey teeth. Hopefully those ones stayed in. He was, I don't know what, how it happened where it's, uh, falling out all the time. Here, let me find it. Uh, let's see. So that's likely why his chewing is bizarre, right? You think so? I think yeah. he, we tr tried to find it, but there's a video of him talking about him, for some reason, uh, uh, in his childhood, losing his teeth. Uh, having issues since then. Do you want some fucking teeth? You think, oh, you yeah. think it's like a teeth thing? Yeah. Well, he's never explained that, but that is an interesting theory. Also, I don't like that theory because it makes me feel bad. <laughs> well, he's embracing it. <laughs> no, of course he is. He's so. definitely embracing it, but I suspect that that's uh, the origin of that. Even if he's since had his teeth corrected or fixed, he probably wasn't able to chew very well and so just got used to just swallowing shit whole which yeah is kind of sad well we but got he to, got really um, good at it enough that he's been able to make a online career out of it um we got to get him on to call in but here he is with he has a beautiful girlfriend by the way that does videos with him no, she chews, yeah. So I don't know if these are the version. I think this is the first version teeth. They don't look as crispy. She don't like gravy, so gravy all over. Let's just get straight into it. What, you don't like half food, you just told me. So I'll what try it. Right, it's a break here. She's had one already. <laughs> Dude, this woman is a gem. Like, she doesn't give a fuck at all. Seven, eight, six, seven, whatever. Whatever. Here's... <laughs> this is so funny. Here's AB taking a bite of his lunch. <laughs> now do you see the resemblance? I don't, frankly. I don't. Really? I don't see it. Okay. Other than the choking. That is good, though. You know? Have we reached out to him? Okay, good. Yes, we have. I really got to ask him. Oh, there was a donation. He said, um, there's nothing to talk about, but have a happy new year. All love. Yeah. All love. <laughs> it's on, dude. He talked about his jaw got fucked up as a kid. Moggy said. Okay. Yeah, somebody uh, sent a super chat saying that he... Uh, let's see. Where'd you send that? You sent it in the main? Jaw got fucked up as a kid. Well, maybe it was a different one. Somebody said that he got uh, punched as a kid. And oh, no. Fucked up his jaw. 
Oh, that's sad. Fuck. Um, here he is putting in one of his teeth. What's happening, guys? Bevo here. I just wanted to make a video. I love his on teeth what videos. I have to do when my tooth becomes loose. So currently, it's twenty past eleven. This tooth here, it's really loose. Oh shit! Is this it. one where he glues out it in? Out now, watch. It shouldn't come out because it's glued. Oh god. Yeah. He right, just so has. Come out. Look at this. Um, I'm going to clean this up, and I'm going to put it back in with super glue. Super oh, glue. Right, oh. Now it's cleared up a bit. There's not much glue on it. You can see a little loud, but I can't really get it all off. I'd be all day with. Yeah, me. I mean, I'll if you're if you're working with glued in teeth, you want to minimize the chewing. Probably, yeah. Huh. Raving it. So, what I do is make sure my tooth is dry out the back. <laughs> nice sanitary. Problem is, there's glue on the back of my tooth, so I probably will have to see my dentist soon. This can't be like the way his dentist right, told him to do this, right? Dry. We get the glue, but we get the tooth. This is the tricky part. Because if I mess this up, I'll get all glue in my mouth. Oh, yeah, we don't want that. Let's clear the top. I love that he puts Please, this huh? all out there. I think it's really, glue. really cool. Really? I mean, this. most people would be embarrassed by this. Let's just wait. Oh, Not be, though. Too much. It's pretty matter of fact about Shit. it. That's good. So he said he put way too much. Does that slow right, Bevo down? That's brilliant. And oh, then we no. go in. We go for it. I hurt as a... We did it. Uh, huh? You gotta hold it in. Oh, uh, 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 yeah. yeah. So you want some fucking tea? <laughs> <laughs> so he's holding it in. Yeah. He's back, baby. And um, voila. 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 My tooth's back in. Feels a bit weird for a minute. Is that just hand. like really... It, but... <sighs> That's another question. Can we write down stuff? Like I need to ask him, is that just like industrial super glue or is that dental glue? Okay. You know. Like... That I need to know. This is an iconic breakfast uh, meal. Breakfast, uh, Morrison's Cafe. You know what's though? Ketchup. Big up the ketchup. First of all, I'm gonna rate everything out of ten. Here we go. Let's see if you get your money's worth. It's a bit cheaper in here, but you have to wait a long time. <laughs> mushroom. That was a big mushroom. A bit watery. Six out of ten. Fried egg. The baked beans. Beans. I can't get past that. Baked bag, beans? Great. That's like the last thing I would want on that plate. Bacon seems alright. Let's have a go. Well, you fuck with the baked beans, right, Ian? Yeah. yeah. It was proper, proper yeah, chuff right, with the beans. You yeah, the right. Bacon, you know was it wasn't that bad, I remember. No, but like mixing it with like all this food. We did the beans on toast. We did it with toast, yeah. Not bad, not bad. Six out of ten again. Ash brown. That has done it too. Very bland. Very he doesn't bland. like the food. Got left. He's Smart. kind of slamming this place. He's lost six out of ten. Yeah. Do that in one go. Let's go. Yeah. Six out of ten again. Got the tea. Don't have tea. You're doing it wrong. Big up the tea. Big up the bacon. So that's Bebo. Big up the tea. Big up the tea. Big up the bacon. I, for one, welcome Bevo. I think he's an interesting guy. He's a good guy. He seems like a really, actually, a sweet guy. Um, and that's why I love him. That's why I love him. He swallows a whole carrot. We almost lost Bevo on the first bite. Okay. This one sounds good. Bevo Turkey. I'm in Burger King in Turkey. You know, we've gone for the king beef. Other than um, not understanding English out here, it was so hard to order this. I don't know what is in it. The chips are mad and the drink is mad. So big up turkey, you know the rules. Let's have a little go. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. It's nice. <laughs> what do you mean you don't know how you feel about it? You do, I, I don't understand how he tastes this so food. Big up Does he have taste buds you know in his throat or something? Let's have a little go. 
<laughs> oh my God. I don't know how I feel about that. It's nice. He like uses pressure to force it, it feels down fresh, his but it's throat. Not. That's like what the face I make when I start panicking. Like, is this stuck in my throat? Yeah. Do I need to <laughs> <laughs> Bro Every... is, bro is only feeling the aftertaste. That's the yeah. only taste. It's all about the aftertaste. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't know with that. Let's wash it down with coke. I didn't give us a straw certificate. Yeah, there it is. That's our boy Bevo. We love him. I like the little tilt to the head he does. Did you find the one about the that I asked for? Uh, I'm not sure if this is it. This one he's talking about his teeth, saying that uh, they're his real teeth. Someone asked if they're false. They said, "You wait." He's saying they're his real teeth. Well, this is probably an earlier. He's denying it. real teeth. I might have a filter on, but these are my teeth. It's my jaw that's back, not my teeth. People say, "Oh, your teeth stick out." This and that. It's my jaw. My jaw should be here, not there. But I'm not having surgery. Bun. Okay. Uh, no, I think he's just he's just saying the issue is with his jaw. Oh shit! No. Like I'm what sure? makes him swallow like that? God damn! It. Why can I not find this one? It was so good. He's like out on the street and he's doing a TikTok and he's like, um, I've never seen more natural looking, um, uh, implants or what do you what do you call them? I don't know. Fuck. All right. We love you, Bevo. Love you, Bevo. Big up. Um, if we're moving on, I have an update about the preach situation. We got some details. Go ahead. From the person who posted on Reddit, they messaged one of the mods with some more information. They said, I'm the Redditor who posted the preach video. If you have any questions I can answer to answer the cruise question, the show is called uh, Live from the Universe. It's basically a weekly show where one celeb gets invited and they put a show on for them performing songs that are important in their life. Guests are invited uh, and sing for the celebrity. This week, Celebrity just started a new show with Preach. Oh, yeah, and Preach is playing a small part in it. And in order to comprehend, you're going to have to break some... <laughs> comprehend. In order to comprehend and to eat the... Uh, the, the, the uh, go uh, on, Dan. Uh, uh, Preach is not very popular in Quebec media, but is definitely starting to get in more roles in part in media. He's friends with Mike Ward, who is a very popular comedian who got sued the, for a uh, joke. The, the, the Plus, Mike Ward... Uh, has a podcast and has the record for the biggest live audience at a podcast. And guess who have that record? Preach himself. I guess Preach was there with him. Uh, there's no such thing as a question. Sorry, I'm very French Quebec and can't type in English. Oh, you did well. You did very well. Very good. This is my favorite song right now. I'm, 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 I'm converted. He preached to my soul. Yeah. I got a bite of that omelet, that omelet of knowledge. So is, is Preach going to leave Abba in the dust? Sounds like he's getting big over there. In like a Abba's not doing Quebec. TV shows and stuff. Well, do we know that? I, I didn't know that it. Preach was doing TV shows until I saw this clip. So, because I always thought it was Abba was the alpha. He was the alpha wolf. Uh, he definitely talks a lot more in their videos, but I think, um, you know, I, I think English is Preach's second uh, language, so he's sure. probably a little. And, and frankly, for a native French speaker who learned. English. I mean, compare him to XQC. That dude is barely literate. <laughs> he's definitely a far he more eloquent with a than XQC. Accent. Yes. We love he's preach. A, that, that's a pretty uh, low bar, but yeah. What happened should have happened. Love from the should have happened happened. And love from the H three nation. <laughs> ah, all right. Should we check the cups? How long's it been? I think it's like been 25 minutes ish. Yeah. 35. Let's take a look. 35? We can put them back in, but let's take a look. Okay. So bring them here. Try not to shake it, AB. Just bring it here. It is what it is. Yeah. All right. So we are stopping it. How's the heat? Is it hot back there? It's really hot, he says. AB is grabbing both of the bottles. He's not jiggling them as to contain the suspense. So, here's one. Now, the outside of this is hot. 
That thing's warm. And this thing too, it's, it's got a lot of heat in there. All right, let's start with this one. Oh, there is, there is, let me open it. You know, it's hard to tell, you filled it up. Does it have more, does it have the same amount of ice? Uh, it looks about the same, yeah. Yeah. Easy, easy clap, no problem. Is this drinkable water? Oh, that's tap water. It was just from tap. the tap, yeah. Just put your finger in it. LA tap water is not it. I'll drink it. I'll drink it if like it's the middle of the night and I'm. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That sounds like. No problem. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think the washing machine's gonna f get. Not hot enough. Guys. Uh uh. Not hot enough for this shit. Well, here, let's open it. And you can tell me if this is. Here, I don't know how to open it. Well, it probably ex so, it's probably hard. Yeah. Probably expanded from the heat. It's probably pretty hard to. Unscrew it right it's now. It's just wet, Dink. It's just wet. It's just wet. It's just wet. It's <laughs> wet. So anyway, we're trying to get inside. Recording. But uh, uh, opening it, it probably it passed the first stage. Both of them did. Both of them passed. Trying to get the Stanley Cup open so that we can examine the ice levels. That's an issue I have with my cup. <laughs> the plastic expands. And gets oh, impossible. I got it, guys. I got it open. Dad, yeah. Dan, over there. Oh, Dad? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, Call him Dad I mean, again. That's, yep. That thing Dad. is full of ice. Yeah. All right. Dude, we're going we're gonna to burn those fuckers. Yeah. That's I the real thing. I mean, I mean that, you have? Huh? What? Something about Mega Man. I have grown up with Mega Man. <laughs> okay. I don't know what that has to do with what we're talking about, but I like Mega Man, too. You like Mega Man more or Mega Man X? Which one are you a bigger fan? I of? think X was the. This is the Super Nintendo uh, series. Was that was the the crowning jewel of the series, wasn't it? I think so, personally. You like X? I'm I'm an X boy. X is way better. It's yeah. like just better. It's just better in every yeah. way. Yeah. I have grown up with Mega Man. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll we'll wait on on Wednesday to burn these motherfuckers down. We should do like what five minutes over coal, five minutes, and then put it back. Well, how many? But it's uh, like a straight up fire. Yeah. How long do you think the car fire burned? Probably not that long. Car fire. More than five minutes. Yeah, more than five, ten minutes. So you want to do ten minutes? Are we trying to keep the integrity of the test here? That's why I want to do it in like careful intervals. I guess throw it back on after. Yeah, the you 10 throw it back on. Check. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll you, do ten minutes. If yeah. you analyze the video, I don't think it caught fire. The straw isn't even melted, mm -hmm. so I don't think it got that hot. The That's straw a, isn't the even melted. Yeah, so I think See, this is my opinion: is we're gonna <coughs> stick it over that thing, and all of the stuff at the top is gonna immediately start to dissipate. Good. Okay, the straw is bent actually. It's slightly bent. So that okay, if it seems. bent like that, it was definitely Yeah, cuz it's a straw. Here, I'll bring it. But like at the end of the day, that couldn't have been crazy hot for it to just bend slightly. So the straw is I mean, if you look at everything else that's melted strong, in yeah. the car, it sure seems like Show this. It was pretty hot in there. Mm. If you actually look further Really strong straw. I see. If you actually look at the video, I, I went super close and it's not that damaged. It must the roof hey, might have caught some fire and then stuff Yo, fell down. You well, you see. Well, hold the, on. You can see the car on fire. The, the top of the steering wheel a little bit, but down I there at the gear gear stick, gear stick isn't many burnt many really, in mm. my opinion. Like the actual center <laughs> panel. I mean, here you can see the fire. I thought the fire looked pretty serious. Yeah, but I think it's from the engine and. I don't hmm. know if, you, yeah. Let's see. It's in here, I think. At the very end. Um, this is all after the fact. Oh shit! Okay. Damn it! You just there. There it is. Find it. No, this is. Someone's saying the straw is silicon, would which would make it super much more resistant. Well, is silicon? Mm. What's its what's melting point? Way higher because they do like silicon. We can find out. They do silicon like oven stuff. <sighs> True. 2,500 degrees Fahrenheit. 
How much? 2,577 2, degrees Fahrenheit. 2,000? Melting point of plastic. Does anyone have a lighter? That means if I put a lighter on this, it will not melt. Not even close. I think I might have one in my well, bag. That's the raw material. I bet they mix it with a bunch of shit. I got to make you. it flexible. This says that the, um, the melting point of plastic is up to 200 degrees. I got it. Orange flame ranges. Oh, this is good. Thank you. Orange flame. Thank you. Ranges from 1,100 to 1,200 degrees. White flames are hotter, measuring 1,300 degrees. Oh, that's Celsius. What does that translate to? To about 1,500 Celsius. The brighter the white, the higher the temperature. Oh, this is a cool flame. This 2,732. Oh, that's melting point. Yeah. But this wouldn't be that high. This is going to be like 11. No, definitely not. What's 1,100 C? To F? 2012. Oh, oh I'm sorry. I missed, when I said definitely not, I was m confusing Fahrenheit and Celsius. Like, I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> Keep in mind that's toxic, don't. Yeah, this in. is. So, like, if there's any. You can see what it looks like, though. It's definitely <laughs> noticeably charred. It's charring it, but you're like holding it right on there. Well, if it was just ambient. That's from the butane or whatever. And that's charred. Big. Does it feel bendier? It's hot. I don't want to touch it. <laughs> but it melted really fast too, so I'm not sure about the silicon claim. <laughs> I can't hold it straight. I've got this fucking. I started having tremors in my hand. What is that? Fire! <laughs> A kid at recess <laughs> found a lighter. <laughs> Try to bend it. Does it? Does it? <laughs> I made a little bit. Yeah. Similar effect. Can breathing silicon fumes uh, <laughs> Let's see. damage you? No, I'm sure it's fine. Well, Nothing is on fire, I repeat. <laughs> Nothing is on fire. I mean, that's a similar effect as the video. Kind of. Kind of. Let me put the heat like pretty far away from it and see what happens. So wait a minute, wait a That's minute. That's really minute. quite far. I think I think we're barking down the wrong tree here. Well, we're investigating. Why? Because, hold on. I walked to the bathroom for a sec. I came back and I thought you were trying <laughs> crack again. All right, I'm not doing direct flame. We're revisiting. I'm not doing it. Really careful about breathing that. It's definitely toxic. Did you find any intel? On so the um, the material that this is made out of, the melting point, it varies depending on the grade of silicone. So generally, it ranges from a thousand to two thousand five hundred and seventy-seven, which is what we originally said. This so thing it could melts, actually be significantly lower than that. This thing melts very easily. Yeah. So maybe it's which, plastic. Which is in line with what I'm saying. Well, it's mm. definitely a type. Using cheap materials, eh, Stanley? <laughs> hey, Danielle. So, so I don't know what it means, but I, I'm, our straw evidence is is not supporting what this straw evidence is. <laughs> like the bend, I don't know why that would even happen after, based on the experiment I just did. It just bends over. I think ambient heat. I think the roof wasn't a fire. Uh, the if you look at the gearbox is slightly slightly sh melted. Oh, here you can see the fire. There's a closer video on her account. Here, it happens right here at the top. That's a pretty serious. You're right. It's the engine. Where was AB in all of this? <laughs> True. Of you fuck. This is on you, AB. I was at Target trying to get one. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Alright. Well, we'll see. We're gonna burn ours. Um, is, is breathing silicone fumes dangerous? Oh, I mean, yeah. yeah, it's like, it's plastic. No, oh, it's a, plastic. It's, it says it can irritate nose, throat, and lungs, but it doesn't say, like, no. cancer. Well, it's just, it's more shit in that straw for sure. That's <laughs> just silicone. Silicon tetrahydride can affect you when you breathe in. Contact can severely irritate and burn the skin. I'm good on that. 
breathing silicone can irritate. Maybe next time I won't freebase it. <laughs> no, I'm I'm fine. Uh, and so. All right. Stanley Cup. Stanley Cup, ladies and gentlemen. We've got. Um, Are they sponsor us now or what? After all the marketing we just did for them. Bro, there's just so many people that should be sponsoring this show. For real. God damn. <coughs> um, we've got oh, the. Somebody uh, sent a super chat and said, I have the Mazda CX5 and Stanley's don't fit in the cup holders. LOL. Huh. <laughs> That's a wrinkle. But that one fits per maybe it's the older version or maybe the year matters. Well the CX five was the new car. I don't it was the original car also a Mazda? I don't know. No. Well they said they got her the same car. It was a Kia. The first one. Oh, it was a different car. Yeah, you don't want the same car that just lit on fire. Let me open it and confirm that. Bad juju. Um, they put they put the drinks in the drink holder, so Well it fit. Yeah. But it could have been doctored. <laughs> yeah. We just don't know. Those fuckers did. Somebody else donated five dollars and said a twenty-three year old Cali girl was just arrested with two thousand five hundred dollars of stolen Stanley cups in her car. Holy fuck. Damn. Wow, what's the story? I want to know more. She got, she got busted. Like, how'd she snag that much merch? <laughs> She's still well, they're truck? pretty expensive, so it was probably just like they're forty bucks. Or something. I mean, that's a lot. Forty bucks. That's like a lot of cups. A lot of money. 2,500 divided by 40. I mean, that's, yeah, 62 cups. It's a lot Not of that cups. impressive of a haul. Oh, mm. shit, dude, look at this. You know how when the police arrest, like, drug dealers and they put out all the drugs and weapons for, like, a really cool photo op that makes the police department look good? Well, welcome to 2024, baby. The sting of a lifetime. <laughs> oh my god, they did not. <laughs> they they spread it they out. Took the time to arrange that. <laughs> I stand behind her. That's what I'm saying. Free my girl. Free my girl. Who's the cop social media man? They they know what's up. Nice arrangement. <laughs> it's a good move. Nice arrangement. That's guys. a juicer pick. <laughs> yeah. It's a good social post. <laughs> For reals. <gasps> yeah, Keep I guess the street's safe right here. So that's twenty five hundred dollars worth of cups right there. Damn, okay. That's like the de least em. dense item per money you can get. <laughs> That's what you know I'm what saying. I mean? So much air. You could yeah. just get a right. get a PlayStation maybe. Totally. It's way easier. Let's see. More compact. Uh, yeah. Police in Roseville, northern Sacramento, said Sunday that they were called to a reported theft from a store on Stanford Ranch Road. So she was just stealing them. Like, just, wow. That's a dedicated thief. Staff okay. saw a woman take a shopping cart full of Stanley water bottles without paying for them. Oh, come on. That's it. The suspect refused to stop for staff and stuffed her car with the stolen merchandise. <laughs> oh, this was her haul all at once? How? Not a good thief, actually. Quite a rookie, rookie stuff here. So, okay, we've got Michaela fake tan drama. Nagaru? Yeah. Nagaru? How do you say your last name? Mega Let's do that. Michaela Nagara, I think. Nagara. I think it's Nogiera. 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 Nogiera? What? Where's the... Where's the no I'm come? just freestyling. I don't know. <laughs> it's N-I. <like, laughs> let's, let's just Babby. go with Michaela. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to say it, but... Yeah. Babby. Yeah. If it <laughs> if it sounds similar to a slur I would never say, then I apologize. That was not on purpose. Noguera. Yeah. No, we understand. Yeah. yeah. I realized after I said it, I was like, oh fuck, I should button that. But I didn't. But I didn't say it. Right. No, you said her last name. I did not say the word. And I, I would I not say, say that word. I'm gonna say something I don't I I probably shouldn't say. Watch Kim Stars like, Ethan said the N word. <laughs> He'll cut it up nice. Oh, yeah. Ethan slips up. <laughs> Ethan is, oh, the quartering, he always says, uh, Ethan meltdown. <laughs> the quartering is a low <laughs> IQ inbred loser. It's preach, brother. So we got the Michaela one. We've got the, uh, this one's good. Girl got $150,000 in funding, and she basically committed, uh, 
fraud. And then she made a video. This one's funny. I'm going to do this one. Um, business, this girl, <laughs> she's a business guru on TikTok. And she makes, she makes videos trying to help other folks be successful business people too. God bless her. She, her account name is businesswoman PS Milan. Wait, this is, hold on. Oh, this is the original post? This is her? This shit's still up? <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Whoa. It only has 50 likes? This girl's dropping. Yeah, it has like over 400,000 views, <laughs> though, which I think. I think it was a quote tweet of this that went viral is so um well this girl's giving all those alpha bros a run for their money because this is straight facts so here listen yeah actually and we should shaved. preface this by saying yes this is financial <laughs> advice you should listen to everything that she says in this video my girl knows her she stuff. is a licensed fiduciary licensed uh, fiduciary you should definitely do this take all of this to the bank except not now my student, she says, now my student with no job got $150,000 in funding to close on her first Airbnb. This woman has no credit, no job, and she got a $150,000 loan? How? It was able to get $150,000 to buy an Airbnb. To close on her first Airbnb, and she didn't have <laughs> no job, no proof of income, and she had no revenue. She filed her LLC on the website, howtostartanllc.com. In her business. Easy. Okay, the first thing Got she it. did was have an LLC and then she built her relationships with most She opened a business by the way. She opened a business checking account with Navy Federal, PNC, Bank of America and Citizens and more for 30 days. Navy Federal, PNC, Bank of America for at least 30 days. <laughs> she didn't have to buy no trade lines, have no net 30s or list herself or even have a business address. The way she was able to do that was she applied for every product that each of these banks had on their website and then she liquidated the credit card to put down on her first Airbnb. If you want to do the same DM me business. Yeah, so she's describing a known, it's a known illegal scam called like circular uh, payments, which I guess is when you artificially increase your credit score through financial fraud, essentially. Huh. Um, so... <laughs> She thinks she figured something out, but... Well, she did. She just described a crime. <laughs> <laughs> and also... Uh, also, I love how loud the fucking music is in this, like, tutorial video. The vibes are like, really good. <laughs> so My girl frantic. Shay was able to get 150000 in funding just to close on her first Airbnb, and she didn't have this no job. This shit's so lame, no too. Like, income, she, she, she gets... No she essentially gets a fraudulent loan and then buys a fucking Airbnb property an airbnb an airbnb hell yeah that sucks that like sucks <laughs> that's like the worst in her business okay the first thing she did was have an llc and then she built her gunshots and shit banks, like maybe federal pmc <laughs> bank of america for at least 30 days she that didn't beat have to is aggressive. Lines, have no net 30s like, or list herself. She didn't or even need have anything. A address. This is The way awesome. she was able to do that was she applied for every product that each of these banks had on their website. And then she liquidated no, the credit card to put down on her first Airbnb. I feel like if you're going to five different banks, getting all their products at the same time, that's like feels like a scam. You know, it's something your spidey sense should tingle when you're sitting there with like 50 credit cards from five different banks. Um, here's our TikTok. That's not fraud. It is, actually. Pretty sure. That's fraud. <laughs> Thank you. Here she is, uh, living life how I should. Investor. Um. So, I wonder if she's responded. Where's the one? Where's this video? Is it not on TikTok? Um. The link says her TikTok, and then, uh, you know, let's see this one. How to get, let's see. Get a 2021 or a 2022. How to get a 21 or 22. Mercedes. Bird your credit. Fill out pre-approval with bank. Okay. Tell your dealership, only run your credit card with the bank that pre-approved you. Rent out your car on Tiro and drive it for free. 
Wait, what? She's renting it to herself? Is that what she's... What is she saying? No, no, I think Turo she's... is like a... Uh, it's like Airbnb for cars. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, all of this is predicated on, like, basically juggling this shit in such a way that, like... That's gotta yeah, be She's fraud, gonna have, like, too. with the first thing with the Airbnb, she takes out, like, 40 credit cards and, like, and liquidates them all into cash and then buys a property. And then I think the assumption is the profit from the Airbnb should be able to pay that off. But yeah. it's gonna be at, like, 21% fucking interest rate or something. It's like... No, if she, no, if she gets a... So here's the thing. If you get a residential loan, the rates are good. If you get a commercial loan, it's a lot more. There's no way she told him it's for commercial purposes, which is fraud too. Right. right. So she probably has a decent uh, uh, interest rate. However, this is the wor such bad advice. I mean, you are, you are. Oh, wait, wait, fucked. wait. You're saying like, no, she didn't even get a loan like that. She bought the Airbnb cash. No, she got with a loan, from a loan. No, she bank. didn't get a loan. She got a bunch of credit cards and liquidated them, she said. How do you liquidate a credit card? With QuickBooks. She says it in the video. Yeah, no, no, no. She's, like, doing, like, cash advance on, like, 30 Does credit she cards. Not? Which, okay, hold on. Which does a higher interest rate, usually. <laughs> Although I think she had a trick for that, that she got around. You know what? Once they all consolidate it with a debt collector, those people will negotiate. She might be on to something. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, start scamming your banks, y'all. Okay, I let think me. What she's doing is let me, I, I I could be misinterpreting some of this. So tell me if you guys got a different uh, something out of this. But she's doing like that old trick where she's applying to like seventy credit cards at like the same instant, so that they can't run her credit and see that she already has a bunch of other credit cards open. You know what I mean? And so getting she, like a shitload of them approved, all, all like a thousand dollars or fifteen hundred dollars or something liquidating them all into cash and then using that to buy an Airbnb and then hoping the profits from the Airbnb will allow her to pay off all those credit cards that's what I think is going on what is this video here the Ben's got totaled which I'm guessing oh god is some she did fraud for sure that, yeah that's what I was gonna say this is probably an insurance job <laughs> oh no my Ben's is totaled but I love life dude there's no way this girl didn't burn that herself <laughs> yeah let's think of how to dig ourselves out of this fraud. you're telling me wait hold on it just burned in that Empty lot? <laughs> no. It probably got towed there. Maybe now. it got towed there. <laughs> I don't know if it's... Oh my god, this enough. girl. <laughs> They're gonna make a Netflix movie about this girl one day. Um, <laughs> let me listen to this again. I think you might be right, Dan. I think you're right. First Airbnb, and she didn't have no job, no proof of income, and she had no revenue in her business. Okay, the first thing she did was fire. have an LLC, and then she built her relationships with multiple banks like Navy Federal, PNC, Bank of America for at least 30 days. <laughs> she didn't have to buy no trade lines, have no net 30s, or list herself, or even have a business address. The way she was able to do that was she applied for every product that each of these banks had yeah, on their website. Every product is in every credit card, like every type of credit card that they offer, and at like 20 banks at the same time. Okay, hold on. Let me. F so, can you. What does this actually mean? Liquidating a credit card through QuickBooks. You know, I'm not. I, I, credit cards I don't have a lot of like QuickBooks Airbnb. experience. If you want uh, to but do I think that they have some way of doing a cash advance from a credit card if it's a business card. But they're not going to give you that much. Like, I could get a cash advance from my credit card, but. Well, when you do it, that's the thing is she, I think she found some workaround with QuickBooks because when you get a cash advance on a normal credit card, it's like 40% interest rate. It's like stupid. Like it, you should never do that unless it's like a total emergency. But I think she somehow found a way to get the money out of the credit card into cash at at least like the normal interest rate on that credit card, which is probably still really high. <laughs> or she's paying 40% interest. Or, yeah, I don't know. But she, I don't think that she doesn't think much about consequences. <laughs> She's just like, we got the That's Airbnb a for tomorrow. Holy smokes, man! I, yeah, if anyone finds out what that means, I'd love to know. Um, let's get the car. Let's get the Airbnb. I We're living. I think QuickBooks will. I think they have like a <laughs> a service or a component of them that acts as like a short term lender. But but they take a credit card as collateral? Like, who's do taking that on? That debt is so risky. Who would do that? QuickBooks, apparently. That's she bananas. says she did it. Here she, she seems like she seems honest. She has a business, online business school. Yeah. 
Business Women, LLC. <laughs> Welcome to Business Women University. Bridging the gap between women and financial freedom. Oh no, girl, not this way. Don't bridge it like this. Are you struggling with lack of funds, lack of support, lack of education? Somebody in the chat said she's using QuickBooks POS to charge the cards to her own account. Oh, that's mega fraud. Yeah, that makes sense. That's, that's if that super right. fraud. So she's charging herself and then getting the money as if, it, oh, that's <laughs> super legal. <laughs> Okay, that that's that's some girl boss shit, dude. Don't hate. So she you sends women. She sends herself invoices from her LLC. Why do you hate women so much, Ethan? <laughs> you got me. I have no answer. <laughs> oh shit, this girl's nuts. If yes, please uh, keep scrolling. Business University is a mentorship program that helps, where I will teach you to do financial crimes and film them. Queen. To put on In TikTok. Great detail. If I did this, that is exactly the photo shoot I would do too. <laughs> this is wild. I mean, I appreciate her entrepreneuring spirit, but girl, right? Not like this, please. <laughs> you will learn marketing, credit repair, business funding, Airbnb. You will learn Airbnb, car rental business, real estate. <laughs> Fuck me. She's a jack of all trades. <laughs> oh, we got testimonials. Time to say a prayer. Uh, haven't, yeah. Check the audio. God, all these people are going to go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. These people are all. <laughs> yeah, probably. They're all committing fraud. Oh, these happy people. This is crazy. Oh, here's they have screenshots of the uh, approvals. Congratulations, you're approved for 25000 at 17%. Okay, and then she sends herself an invoice. Dude, that's crazy. This is nuts that this is just online. Still, <laughs> 12, here's 12000 from U.S. Bank, 25000 from Navy Federal, 6500 from PNC Bank. Here's another yeah, see, That one even says the credit. It's 17.24%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is so really imagine, high for that much money. Right. So imagine spending $150,000 <laughs> buying an Airbnb at 17%. Plus here, you committed fraud to do it. Here, this loan is from <laughs> LLC Green Line of Credit. They're giving her 50000 Who knows what's the, the interest rate on that? So hold on. Do, let me do some math. Um, 17. Somebody said it's not fraud if she's pretty. They got a good point. That is so true. That is such a good point. So Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, <laughs> what would you say she is on a scale of one to ten? Let's go. If eight or higher, she eight must be acquitted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe a seven. Six is pushing it. Well, you, you, you'd be surprised how many girls <laughs> got father issues <laughs> and granddaddy issues. <laughs> six six percent or less, we will be pursuing the death penalty. 70 you know I mean? percent. <laughs> so, to the chat asking, are we 100 percent sure this is illegal? <laughs> <laughs> What's the joke? Can Just I they, do they it? really want to do this. So are we like, are we sure well, this is illegal? E well, just I mean, here's the thing. If you were going to do this me. crime, here's how I would do it. <laughs> okay. This is horrible because everything's on the books. You're yeah. going to get fucked. You right. will get fucked. Absolutely. Here's what you do if you're really desperate for some money. Mm -hmm. Do this, take all the cash, take out the cash, and then you just got to like leave the country and never come back. Right. Mm -hmm. Just find a country where $150,000 can get you by for a long period of time. Yeah, maybe you can get more. I mean, you know, who knows? If you have decent It's credit, probably important to check that they don't have extradition with the United States, too. They're not going to extradite for that. They don't care about that, I well, feel like. Okay. They would, they would, if you came back, they would, they would know. Right. For sure. Right. But if financial you financial crime, no extradition. If you stole less than a million, I right. doubt they would go through the extradition. Yeah, you're probably right. Process, you know. Do you think they give a reduced sentence for girl <laughs> boss crimes? Probably. I think probably. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Depends which state she's in. Yeah, I think so. I have a friend in Israel who did that. Mm. Girl really? boss crime. He he did. Fraud? He just took out. Ton <laughs> yeah, fraud. He did. He took out tons of loans. Uh huh. 
like hundreds of thousands of dollars because he was like a model. He was like a normal citizen. He had a job. He was totally fine. And then he wanted to move to South America and become like an ayahuasca guide or some shit, which he did uh, do, end up doing. Yeah. But he he took like two hundred thousand dollars and and then he just left and he can never go back. Huh. That's pretty and, cool. Uh, is he out doing ayahuasca? In he the did do now? that. I I don't talk to him so much anymore. Last I heard, he spent a few years down there, grew a rat tail, and then moved up to uh, somewhere in California. He's doing something here. And this is bad. How? I didn't I didn't judge it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh okay. I'm just saying it happened. It sounds like this guy's got the life. Yeah. Growing a rat tail out, doing ayahuasca. Yeah, I didn't I didn't give any value judgment. <laughs> I'm saying it happened. I'm sorry. I apologize. Yeah. Thank you. Oh man, that's crazy. So I did some calculations. 17% on 150,000 is 25,500. 25, that's just your interest every year. That's your interest you know every I mean? year. So that would be 2,125 a month just to cover the interest. That's not that's not the uh right. principal. Right. Right. At all. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah. Which means it would increase. Well, no, if you pay the interest, it would stay. If you're paying all of the interest, it would just stay stable. <laughs> yeah. But. So, I mean, yeah. that was a tiny <laughs> Airbnb. And I don't know what's. Oh, I do. Do we know what city she's in? I don't. No. Assuming it's not a super expensive city. I mean, that well, Airbnb. If it's 150K, it's definitely not. So, what LA. is. That's going to get you less than $100 a night for that. For a tiny Airbnb like that in a low. A not super that seems like it would probably be tough to keep occupied at all times. So you'd have to keep 100%, even at 100% occupancy, at $100 a day, it would be... Oh, you would make enough. You would make just enough, and you would have extra. Oh. If you had 100% like occupancy. Everybody's happy. The bank is getting their 17% interest. <laughs> They're getting payments on time. You own <laughs> property. But here's the thing. If... if it's a victimless crime. <laughs> true. If for any reason, <laughs> and there are tons of reasons why mm -hmm. you don't have a hundred percent occupancy, your your life will be catastrophically ruined. High risk, high reward, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She had no job, no credit. Mm -hmm. What do you got to life? lose? Oh, look, Ducky's sleeping on the green screen, guys. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh, the audience needs to see this. He's so cute. He's the sweetest. He really is such a good dog. It's a good boy. He has such a chill attitude about everything. Nah. He's dreaming a little bit too. His paw are moving. He gets his Z's in here because he just, uh, when he's home, he just wants to play all the time. <laughs> he's, I, I'm so happy. He's the best dog. He really is. He's so sweet. He's so chill. <laughs> Cute. Look at that. That's what I'm looking at right oh, now. man. He doesn't complain, Wonderful. you know what I mean? He's just, he's so happy. He's got a little sweater on. A turtleneck. That's so cute. Yeah. This morning, and he cuddles really cute in the bed. He came up to Hila in the morning, and he sat on her head, like where the pillow and her head meets at the top, and he was just <laughs> sitting there. Mm. So cute. What's so cute? All right, well, shout out to girl bosses everywhere. Shout out. Keep slaying, girls. We love them. Mm -hmm. Watch out for the law, girl. You're here. Um. <laughs> oh, no. After the video went viral, people started tagging the banks on Twitter. Snitches. They replied. The snitches Absolute get snitches, snitches y'all. Um, first bank. Don't ask for proof of income on a credit card. Oh, this is her? She tweeting this shit? Yeah, yeah this is under the original video. Yeah, this Holy is the thread, fuck. Dude. First bank does not ask for proof of income on credit cards. Ask your banker. It's 0% APR for 12 months. Oh, well, that's good, actually, then. Although, I mean, the 12 months will end. And she spent 10K on this specific investment. Not 150 on this property. She got approved for 150, but only used 10k. Yes, you she need. Bought, wait, what does that mean? She bought a property for ten thousand dollars, or or down payment. Who the fuck's gonna give them a mortgage after this? Who? I guess because theoretically, Who? all of those credit cards were open under a business. LLC. No, no, 
You can, I don't think you, you can do that. Personal? You can't open credit cards under a fresh business. I remember when she we did that it. She said that that was what she said happened. When we opened our business, I remember they're like, you have to build credit before we can give you a credit card on the business because your credit's separate. Right. That would be sensible, but I believe in the video she said after 30 days. So then that's to... possible. If the debt was on her business. Right then she could get a personal, but that's also a fraud because if she's doing a personal mortgage and using it commercially. Yeah, it's piercing that, the, the corporate veil. I mean, she's she's on a time crunch. I mean, what is it, 30 days before the Bureau updates? So she probably did it, got a- No, it, it updates immediately now. Oh, it does? Yeah, no, I think, yeah. I think what I was saying earlier is, is how people do it. If I'm actually surprised it still works at all in this day and age, but this I'm presuming She's literally filling out all the applications and like simultaneously turning them all in. Yeah. There's got to be. Dude, this is bananas. <laughs> she is, she is committing so many crimes. Like she must have had like 70 a, credit card applications. 800 FICO scored. <laughs> uh, someone in, in chat says, we have a business with zero credit and got a cash card. So there you go. I don't know. I'm seeing that it is possible. Because I think they're, rel they're all relatively low amounts too. Mm -hmm. There is no chance. And it's just a ton of them. There's well, no shot that this doesn't end horribly. Like, even if... Oh, for sure. Even if you don't get arrested, let's say, and everything is going as you planned in terms of scheming this, there's no shot that you won't end up totally in debt, destitute. Right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Not if you... You uh, rent it out for a year, then set it on fire. True, true, true. Is this the girl math I've heard so much about, Two Speed ass? I haven't heard about girl math. You haven't? Mm -mm. Like I've a heard... meme. <laughs> girl math. Oh, man. Ela's asking she should take Ducky home with her. Sorry, I'm typing to Ela. Says yes. Wait. Oh, that was you, Lena. You typed that. Okay, got yeah, it. She's asking if she should yeah. take him. Okay. Uh, that was a really fun story. I really like tang untangling all that. Yes, you need a good personal credit to get approved. Oh. And once you get the money, you will use QuickBooks to take the money out of the credit card and not use cash advance. That's the fraud. It will take her six months to pay off the debt, and then she will profit. How? Six months to pay off the debt. How? You can do the same with no income but good credit. Comment business women if you need help. <laughs> the Airbnb project projected to make 2K per month. 2K per month. So that's like 70% vacancy at $100. Yeah. That seems wishful. I don't know how 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 the Airbnb business is, but <clears throat> so she making uh, two thousand a month. The other one hundred forty thousand she can use to put down on more Airbnbs, real estate, or her own business. Great. If it's only ten, then she could get fifteen Airbnbs. Yeah, easy. Uh, someone tagged. I believe this is documented criminal behavior being committed on your bank. Thanks for letting us know. I'll pass this along to the appropriate team. You guys might want to look into this. Oh, damn. This person's a hater. Yeah. Astro like hit by pitch is hating. They even tagged U.S. Bank and uh, ask, uh, oh, U.S. Bank. You guys might want to look into this. And then they responded, too. Thank you for me. This is our attention. All the best. Bank of America responded. Oh, she's fucked. GG. Well, we wish her well. We were, we're rooting for her. And Girl Boss Nation, rise the fuck up. We're rooting she's the for best. all you. Girl Boss Nation. All right, we got time for. We have time for one more story. We have, and you guys can vote. Oh, Kanye apologies to Jewish people's one. That seems, I mean, it's old. I was meaning to talk about this forever ago. We kind of talked about it already. <coughs> Earlier. Yeah, I guess so. Um, well, go ahead. I was going to also suggest I have a bunch of super chats if you wanted me to 
hit some of those? I kind of need to pee again. Well, why don't I hit a bunch of the Super Chats, then? Yeah. Why don't I do that? How bad do you have to pee right now? Here I go. go uh, let's see. A female vlogger went live on accident after announcing her dog passed. She's seen forcing her child to pose for the thumbnail while he is sobbing. We talked that, about that. That happened a while ago. Yeah. Right? Unless it happened again. Possible. <laughs> that would be wild if that happened again. But thank you. Uh, thank you, Kate. Um, if you would hit, you must acquit. Oh, shit. That's good. That's good. If you would hit, you must acquit. Nice. Uh, let's see. Is this the girl math I've heard so much about? Yeah, I think so. Right? Is that girl? Is all that count as girl Yeah, math? sure. Kind of. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, going to... <laughs> would the crew be able to post a link? I'm going to bring this to my job bank regulator. Hell no! Are you kidding me? I'm not outing her. Do your own work. <laughs> Thank you, though. <laughs> you could probably put it together from that segment. The clues are all there. Uh, I work for a bank and this would be flagged. Yeah, yeah, I, I imagine. The classic Roseville light work. That's classic Roseville light work. Does anybody have a clue what the context of that was? Mm, no. Okay. Oh, is Roseville the uh, I remember where seeing... the cups were f stolen? Oh, it was. It was. It was. It was. There you go. Let me. Um, there was one way earlier in the show. The guy that just said hi with the hundred dollars had previously sent one. He said with more of a message. What was? Was it Nate? What was that name? It was Manny. Manny. I get. I get Nate. A uh, proud member of 41 months here. Keep it up, crew, and thanks for all the goofs and gaffs over the years. Shout out to the family. Also had some baby names up the sleeve. Tried to stick to the O theme. Jackson, or Jax. Arturo. Arturo is a cool name. Xavier. Oh, wow. Wyatt. Anybody ever known a Wyatt? I like that name, yes. Mm. Oscar. I like the name Oscar. Cooper. I love that name. Cooper? Coop? I only know why it's from It's fun Ozark. to call people Coop. Like, that would be a fun nickname to you have. You guys. What's up, Coop? Hmm. Coop Klein? News about a baby name is, congratulations, Cody Co. and Kelsey. They had their baby. Oh. They chose the name that's been at the top of my list forever. Which is? Otis. Otis. Mm -hmm. Otis Redding. Little Otis running around. Well, shout out to Cody Co. And uh, Kelsey, Huge. right? Yeah, and Kelsey. Congratulations. Congratulations. Um, that donation baby. from Manny, by the way, was $200. And then he sent another $100 later where he said hi. And then another $100. Here, you should hear this because uh, remember the, the, the hi donation? Yes. I think that was a mistake. So they had a $200 donation that said they're a proud 41-month member. Wow. Thanks for all the goofs and gaffes. Thank you, And they man. suggested the following baby names. Jackson. <laughs> Arturo. <laughs> Arturo. <laughs> I kind of like Arturo. But isn't that cool. like, that's Strong like, name. that's like naming him like Mohammed or something, isn't it? Isn't that like a Mexican name? Well, you were going to name him Scotty. Are you Scottish? I don't even think it's Scottish. Really? I think it's English. Because as a half Scot, <laughs> Scotty, I have origin. an issue with this. <laughs> oh, is... the, no, am I wrong? Is it like, is it not weird? To name your son like uh, I feel like, I, like yes, like we talked about this with like the Japanese names. It would be weird if you yeah. pick like a really Japanese name for. <laughs> your I like Arturo kid. too. I think it's a cool name, but like, I'm not. I can't name him like we were saying, like uh, you know, Geppetto or something. <laughs> what a, what okay, about well, Alfonso? Isn't that the yeah, same? Yeah, Alfonso. I was going to say, weren't you suggesting some that were somewhat? Alfonso to me seems less more neutral. Like obviously it's, it's Italian. Italian but... It doesn't count if it's Italian. But Arturo is like hardcore. I feel like Arturo might be Italian as well. Actually, maybe Arturo. Maybe it's Spanish. There's a lot of Swedish people called Alphonse. 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 I like. Yeah. Uh, well, they also suggested Xavier Wyatt, which I thought was interesting. Here, I, I just pull every person named Arturo that's coming up. 
Let's see, Cuban, Chilean, Spanish, okay. Guatemalan, Arturo Mexican. Fuente is a big cigar brand, so Cuban. <laughs> Can name after cigar. <laughs> Um, here, how about this? Can I name my baby Arturo if I'm white? <laughs> well, just because it's Spanish. I mean, there are lots of white Spanish-speaking people, too. There's probably white True. Arturos all over the place. True, you're right. There's white people in, yeah. yeah. So, uh, if I'm... I don't think uh, you should... I think you need to name your son Arturo. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> all right. Uh, or Xavier or Oscar Cooper. Wait, I do like Arturo though, and I do like Cooper. You like Cooper? I do. I'm saying Cooper because the Coop <laughs> is like a really fun nickname. Well, I love cool Agent Cooper. Cooper. That's always been one of my favorite characters, and um, from Twin Peaks. Uh huh. Coop. Yeah. yeah. Also called Coop. That's what, I guess that's where I'm getting it from. I'm sending the ones I like to you, actually. So wait, uh, where is it? Did Ela come and get Ducky, or did that not happen? I think so. Uh, oh, Lena she did. Was out yeah, a minute ago. Uh, so anyway, Arturo. Arturo I like. Cooper I like. And then what was the other one? Cooper. Rex. Rex. You got a, does this genius have any other ones? Mm. Uh, the last two suggestions were Owen and Ross. Oops. Not feeling those. Wow. Not those ones. Wow. But I like actually, Owen. Owen. Owen's nice. Arturo. I mean, I do like that name. Wow. Artie, for short. Mm -hmm. They also pointed out. Mm. Eva says, I need to think about it. Don't hate it. Interesting. Ooh. We have a lot like that, though. Yeah. We I have a lot of, like, don't hate it. Rex. That's a, that's an aggressive name. Rex. Who's Rex. Bruce? It's a powerful name. Yeah. Um, all right. What the fuck are we doing? <clears throat> Thank you for the dono. Here's Alfredo with a with a fade. Urgent, urgent message. Alfredo with a <laughs> with a low Damn. cut. He's killing that. He looks good. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Imagine if Ninja had a paper fade. Wow. <laughs> so, updates. Jeff says we'll do the show live. Great guy. Great guy. So, on Thursday, then, I'll be on Jeff's show live. And okay. does that get me off the hook? I think so. Uh... Ultimately, it's up it's a to lot. You. I mean, I that's that's time... a lot. Doing two shows like that is is a lot. What what time of day does Jeff do his thing? I think we're going live around one. Let me check my calendar. Okay, well, that's usually when you go live. So, uh, Thursday at twelve, or I mean at twelve, yeah, twelve. Yeah. Um, people are gonna have the same amount of content <laughs> as they if you didn't do it. Also, Jeff says. Tell Dan to relax. I'm the most reliable, thoughtful, and most humble person in this game. I believe him. Bachelor is my priority, and it's going to be a smash hit. That's convincing. Did he really say that, or are you, you're adding that? I. Which part is unbelievable to you? The whole message to me part. No, it says tell Dan to relax. Because you were stressing about it being a shit show. He said, I saw the clip from today. Tell Dan to relax. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's not about you, Jeff, specifically. It's just you have to understand. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of history here. Yeah, don't of, tell uh, him about the history. Don't tell him. About All he knows is that it's worked out the twice. There's been two lasting loves from this. I mean, that <laughs> is technically true. It's not technically no, true. Barely. It is true. It's definitely true. It's technically, true. it's like absolutely it true. Feels like like I'm missing maybe a little true. bit of context. I see Sam and Ian every day. Well, Moses and Trisha are happily married and they have kids. I know. So yep. Are you coming after and Ian and Sam? No, Ian and Sam, they're a great couple. Okay, so what's technical about it all? Mm hmm. It's just there was a little bit more to the saga than that really relates. The end result is Dan, all that matters. <laughs> it's not the destination that matters, as they say. It's the. <laughs> No, in this case, it's not the, journey the journey is the issue. It's not the you, journey. You're trying to say it's the destination that matters, not the journey. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, yeah. 
Kanye, can we get much higher? Can we get less Jewish? Ah. Uh, <laughs> Is that Kanye? Can we get more Jewish? I like, yes, sucks. Yeah, we're gonna need to see more from him before I give the official pass on that. Gonna need to see wrong. more. I hope he does what you said, AB, and gives a, a video or something. Yeah. Well, that was the rumor, was, right? It was the rumor. Where's that rumor come from? His PR? His press? What's taking so long? <laughs> Shoot the video. He's really working he on it. it. He's perfect. really got to think hard. He delays his albums all the time. You know, he's delaying his apology. So, all right, I think we're out of time. What time is it? Uh, yeah, we're, we're pretty much out of here. So it is fucking raining, dude. I yeah, love it's coming it. down. Yeah, I like it. Oh, too. shit, this is from J Post, Jerusalem Post. They have an article saying, Kanye West set to apologize for anti-Semitism in a 40-minute video. Report. <laughs> okay, what's their intel? Let's see. Kanye West is set to apologize... 40 minute long video, which will be released ahead of the launch of his new album, Vultures, on February 7th. Cool. Nice. Nice to. You know, an apology is sincere when it's uh, coordinated with an album release. Absolutely. And the Vultures are not a reference to Jews, for the record. All right. That would not, that would be very anti Semitic. Um, according to Yahoo, the fact that the launch of the video coincides with that of the album suggests the video is more of a publicity stunt or an image rebranding rather than an actual expression of remorse of his past action. Hey, what is this editorial? Yahoo, wow, anti Semite of the year. Yeah, that was a well, <laughs> that was a well, well earned. Yeah, that was earned. That you know, deserved. Who was gonna beat him out? Not even, I think, like, he, he, mm. I was going to say he might beat Hitler in some of his better years, but I don't think so. No, he hasn't killed anyone. He's pretty my knowledge, much. So that yeah, he's pretty much. So yeah. notches down. Yeah, and we're, we're glad for That's that. Good. Let's keep it that way. That is good. Let's keep it that keep way. Keep that record down at zero. Yeah. All right. Well, listen, everybody. It's been fun. It's been great. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Thank you, everyone, for donating and supporting. I, I love you. Is there anything else to read? I don't want to leave anyone hanging. Um, to be honest, there were. Yeah, there's a decent amount more. Let me try and just hit like the big ones at least here. Yeah, let's let's go. Through. Uh, let's see. That one's fifty. I got that one earlier. Uh, I think you got this one, the Maximilian August Klein, All right? Uh, Declan Klein. I like Declan. Declan? That's a Declan. sweet name. Upper Declan. Upper Declan. An upper Decker. <laughs> Declan. That's pretty good. Okay. There's a fan named Declan. He's the one that made that really we, cool oh. Teddy Fresh helmet. Oh, we love Declan. It's a great name. Uh, Where, are you reading? Or should I read? I was going off the other list, but uh, he just <laughs> dropped a bunch of unread ones if you want to read those real quick. In the donation group? No, no uh, just in the main. Amount. Oh, in the yeah. main. Let's see. Manny, five gifted. Thank you so much. So is it the message above that? Or it no, was, no, that one was just a five gifted. Jordan says, my dog passed away this weekend. Everyone hug your fur babies extra mm. tight. Yeah. There's no pain like losing our babies. I know it. I will. Sorry about that, bud. I will hug my fur babies. Um, Soma says, please do a baby name consultation with M Doodles and stuff. She's a genius and guest influencer baby names correctly multiple times. What, she's like a baby soothsayer? Oh. That sounds kind of... Was that the girl that you, you showed me, the, Ian? Look her up. It was a post, yeah, that was in our chat. So oh. She, so she's some kind of name psychic? She's going to say Oliver. That would be so good. <laughs> if that's what she busted out. Uh, yeah, Sir, that could be fun. Sir Tanuki Dookie. Ethan seems to really be uh, into psychology of how people react to your names. My name is Ra'ab. Is it Ra'ab? Rab. And people seem to attach to my name. It is Jewish. I've uh, I've known a rab before. Rab. A rab in elementary school. Hmm. Another one besides me. Not an Arab. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Lee. I knew a rab, not an Arab. <laughs> got it. Got it. Uh, Lizzie says, "Hi, I'm the person who half jokingly requested a recommendation for grad school. 
Just wanted to update and say I submitted my application. Wait, did I? I didn't ever route you something, did I? I kind of remember that exchange you, on CNX Tuesday, and no, I, I think you said they don't. You don't want a recommendation from me. <laughs> you said you right. would sign something if she sent it to you, but yes, she, I don't think that she, it's out. You can like forge my signature. <laughs> you can, if anyone needs a letter of recommendation, you can. <laughs> Nothing else, though. Only oh, okay, yeah, that's I'm not permitting that on anything else. <laughs> a letter of recommendation only. I could have done that when you to schools. Defined. To schools. I'll even be more specific. Yeah. There you, go. you know what? Let's not do this. No. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do right, this. Right. Uh, somebody just threw out ten dollars and said I was literally opening chat to suggest Declan. That's my son's name. Aww. Sounds good with an A middle name. Declan. We got a second second support for Declan here. So we've done them all now? Uh, okay. Pretty much. Uh, a, a $20 just came through and said Birch Klein. <laughs> I don't know any other Birches. And Birch? it's been a good strong name for me. Birch is a cute nickname. Uh, oh, Birchy. Birch? It's a cute nickname. Birch. That's You're interesting. I like, you guys have some good ideas today. Birch. They say, plus I'm your biggest fan, so you should commemorate me. Finn? Well, that's good enough reason right there. Felix, eh. Birch is a very common last name, as we know. Sigma? Sigma. Yeah. Name him Sigma, Chad. the final boss of video game series Mega Man X. <sighs> mm. I heard you like that game. You've always been a fan of it. All right, so <laughs> tomorrow I we're... Up with Mega Man. So again, just to emphasize, tomorrow there'll be no... See you next Tuesday. It's moving to Thursday. Tomorrow we'll be shooting some fun extras for the show yeah then on thursday even though we moved it to thursday i'll be live with jeff right do a poll does that get me off the hook i can't <laughs> do two in a row you guys gotta give me a break i gotta live my life a little bit two live shows back to back i mean what am i uh well maybe what am i what if jeff's show is such a disaster that you need to go live to do damage control episode. sure yeah that that obviously yeah i'd probably wait though till friday yeah okay you all know. right i mean it's the same amount of content people are getting i don't see this he show. doesn't have a button Ooh. right i'm gonna be right. so i'm gonna be like so unfunny and uninteresting i'm just gonna be like yeah <laughs> no <laughs> i guess sure sure <laughs> okay all right, listen, thank you guys. Thank you to everybody for supporting the channel. Thank you for watching. Love all y'all so much. Shetty Klein. In order to comprehend, you're going to have to break some... To comprehend. And shout to out to Preach, the, uh, the, the, the who, frankly, we have, we have respect for. Those eggshells. We like him now. In order to comprehend, you're gonna have to break some. To comprehend. In order to comprehend. Alright, we'll see you guys the, on uh, the, the Wednesday. Have a great week, everyone. Knowledge, you're gonna need to break those eggshells.